Welcome back to another episode of the Reggie's Podcast. You're here with three blokes who could have been anything but decided to have fun instead. Boys, massive Easter weekend coming up. Yeah. Uh, footy and then a couple of huge fights for Aussie boxers. Can't wait. Um, before we get into it, how's everyone? How'd you go last weekend? Jace, you went away, played yeah, some golf. I did. Great weekend up in uh, Yapoon and Emu Park. Played Emu Park Did Friday. you play Yapoon? Yeah. yeah, so we did Emmy Park Friday when we got there. That was nice. I hadn't played either of the, the courses for the weekend. And then we played the actual Yapoon course Saturday. We had an Airbnb right next to the course. That was prime. And then Sunday finished up at uh, the old Capricorn Resort. It was Sarkis. Yeah. Nice. Man, that was fucking – it's such a hidden gem, eh? Because yeah. so many people forget because resorts run down. Yeah. But that yeah. back nine of the course, it was like – you felt like you are in – you see in the PGA up and like YouTube videos and shit when they're playing in Florida. Yeah, you think yeah, a big yeah, gate yeah. is going to come up and bite your leg as you're putting. Like, felt it was so cool. Like the backdrop, everything of it was prime. prime. But yeah, all around great weekend. Any uh, yeah. any under hundreds? Uh, yeah, a few under hundreds. There was a uh, yeah. couple lads uh, in our group. One twenty. Won't say names, but yeah, not the greatest <laughs> of uh, golfers. A couple of. Uh, Low hundreds, but good piss drinkers though. Yes, yeah. they um, Fuck what yeah. they lack in golf skills, they make up in drinking beers. <laughs> Fucking nice, that's, yeah. yeah. that's what it's all about. I, yeah. I think it'd be crazy. I can't remember the last time I've played on a course where actually Agnes is, but Agnes a is lot good. of a lot of the courses where there's no difference between the fairway and the rough. Like yeah, there's been yeah, a few yeah. courses around here that it's like it'd be nice to be rewarded Just with hitting it. one up the guts. Gladstone, it's a Clyde shithole. Beat. And Calliope. Calliope's better than Gladstone. Yeah. Calliope, Gladstone's I need to worse. do a fucking rebuild on me buggy. <laughs> it's that fucking rough <laughs> on the fairway. Oh, it's a bit man. bumpy. I have the shits. At, I've been meaning to do this for a while. All right, actually, go, mate. Because Gladstone Let Golf it. Club can I'll like, back this get, 100%. Get fucked. They can so, just get so fucked. They, and this has come from the ma- old mate's mouth. Like, this mm. is not me, not me just assuming shit. So they don't water the fairways ever. Not one bit of water goes on the fairways. Mm. They use water out of Police Creek to water the greens mm. and not one bit of water goes on the fairways. And I was like, when I asked him and he told me, I was like, what the fuck? I yeah. don't, how is that legal? It's a fucking golf course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I said, what about town water, man? He's like, yeah, we've got it hooked up, but we don't, we try not to ever use it. It's too expensive. And I'm just like, so what are we paying for? Yeah, like, I just yeah. don't understand. And then they go out. It's all good if it's 40 bucks to play 18 holes and rent a car. Yeah, yeah. But it's not. No, it's it's grizzy like, prices, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. If, if, you don't have cheap, the, if you don't have the fucking Urella card, which mm. gives you free golf and that, mm. it's $75 a round. Mm. I already want to know where all the money goes because <laughs> membership price there is the most expensive. Yeah. And because it's dead center of town, everyone just fucking goes there and plays. But I know. I can't bring myself to play there anymore, eh? You're hitting off dirt. I'd rather literally Boyne's, play in my driveway. Boyne's actually fucking... Well, they good. just got the irrigation job yeah. done, so that's good. And they're it, heading to Calliope in mm. May. Tannum's prime. Yeah. I like it. There's only 13 holes there, but at least yeah. it's green and it's that's nice right. and it's just, Because, yeah, like, like I said, it'd be nice to just crack one off the tee and be at an advantage from doing so. Because yeah. a lot mm. of the courses, yeah. like, you head it off into the rough and it's like, well, it's the same as on the fairway, yeah. just there. Just a tree in the way. That's <laughs> yeah, what, like, that's I noticed right. with anyway. the Oliver yeah. course, you'd be like, oh, I didn't pipe that straight down the middle and now I've got to pay for it. Yeah, yeah, Watch yeah, me yeah, chunk yeah. this 10 yeah. metres. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, it was good. I uh, hadn't had a hit all year, mm. and You've been the boys, for a while, the yeah. boys, fucking, we do this four man scramble thing. Yep, it's so good. Four four man scramble. It's like four man Ambrose. Yeah. Yep, and it's just if you're not shooting massive under, like you got four shots every shot. Yeah, if you know what I mean. Like, you're four, in big trouble if four you can't shoot under. Yeah, it's so good. But I hadn't played all year, so I was like, fuck, I need to have a hit before I go on Get Sunday. Your in a bit. So on Friday. I fucking played the Ambrose comp at Boyne with the boys. I was going to go have a hit by myself and I went, nah, I'll play the Ambrose comp. Mate, honestly, probably one of the best games of golf I've ever played. Really? I hit one bad shot. I played with a a bloke who's like not great, Mm. but he's not terrible. Yeah. So our handicap was a bit more because normally I play with like Mikey or something and we're off two or three or something. Yeah. So... Fucking played with um Trent and our handicap because his was ten and mine was two or whatever. 
we were off five or five and a half or yeah. something. So I was like, sweet, this is Fuck the best yeah. handicap I've had for nine holes. We shot 31 off the stick, so Ooh. five under. Oh, <laughs> wow. Plus the five and a half handicap. So we had like 26 or whatever it was. Get fucked. Didn't win. What? Didn't fucking win. You're cut. kidding. It's fucking made for sharks, that two-man Ambrose oh. at Boyd. <laughs> Some, uh, someone else shot 20, like with the handicap, yeah, got 25 yeah. or something. I'm just like, fucking I give up. I That's couldn't have played fucked. any better. Yeah, yeah. I hit one bad shot all yeah. day. Yeah. And Trent rolled in fucking two parts and it was prime. Yeah. Good so I'm like, up. why'd you cunts make me play? <laughs> That was your now, one good game. That was yeah. your fucking now game. I'm fucked for the full Now game. I'm going to fucking remember all my bad habits on Sunday, but nah. We shot fucking 10 under off the stick oh, as a team. Oh, wow. Nice. And we had 5.34 or 5.54 was the handicap. Yep. yep. And the top three teams go through to the regionals, which is at Iwasaki's. Yep. And then if you become in the top four or five of that, you go to – Sunny Coast and playing the big finals event. Fuck it. So hell. we're like, we're a fucking chance. The boys are getting toey. Big chance. And we're like, 10 under is the number. We we're, we're got it easy. No worries. And we were just counting under, like how many under we were. Mm. And we got to where we signed the cards with the other team and that. And he had us as 62 and it was a 71 pass, so nine under. And I was like, fuck, man, I was counting. Because we didn't do, have one bogey and we had 10 birdies. And I'm like, we're 10 under. I swear we're 10 under. Yep. I got a map of the course <laughs> and we went through every hole and I counted the shots. I went, nah, we took his drive, this, that, chip there, fucking yep. putt, that. Nah, he made that putt. Like, and it come to nine under. I'm like, fuck, we've miscounted. We obviously were nine under. Yeah. yeah. Handed the card in. We came fourth by point one of oh, a handicap. Are you fucking <laughs> kidding? Oh, get <laughs> Zero fucked. point one med. So the we with our handicap we had fifty six point fucking four or whatever, mm. and the team that comes third was fifty six point three. Fuck all. That <laughs> oh is god. Heartbreak. We all got because we hung around for the prezos because we thought we were going to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, if we if we were ten under, I think we would have come second just, mm. you know, like it was that close. Yep. And we got all got in the car just devastated oh. just because we're like, we just want to go to the regionals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who Imagine cares that. about winning? We just want to go to the That's next right. stage. Fuck. And we all got in the car and I was driving. The boys were on the piss and we all just went, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> That's probably yeah, awesome. fucking played well though. That's awesome. Oh, so like, what fun. A Two amazing Point rounds one. shat on by That's being what I said. so fucking so close. So today or yesterday – I like, we all texting each other going, how are we feeling today, boys? Like, <laughs> recovered. This is how the Lions felt last year and yeah. all this shit in the Bronx. And I was like, from Friday to Sunday, I played 27 holes, 15 birdies, one bogey, and w walked away with fuck all. Yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> with a spanked ass. <laughs> oh, who, was in the, who was in the team of four, mate? Me, Mikey, Mole, Tyler, and Hayden Walker. Yeah, nice. So, it's prime because everyone's fucking pretty good. Mm. So, yeah, the boys can smoke it because I just take the three wood. I We had a good theory too. Yeah, like, you don't have driver. a driver, do you? Nah, I yeah. always hit first because I'm hitting a three wood and I can hit it pretty straight. So if I'm in the middle, it's like, right, I open up. fucking unleash. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then that was working prime. And yeah. then I was putting first and um, most and the of the time read. if I didn't fucking – I was putting so good. I yep. think I hold three or four long ones. Yeah. Yep. But if I didn't, it'd be close. I'd tap it in, and then it's like they can just yeah, yeah. fucking give it a yeah, whack. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You're a good cunt to have on the team. Can't. It was so yes. heartbreaking. Now I'm still not over it. No, no, that's fair enough, <laughs> that mate. It'll take you a while to get over. Oh, because we're like, we just want to go to the fucking next stage. Like it would have been prime. Oh, you want to carry on and be like, oh yeah. You get a pro at the next thing. Do you? With yeah, you. you get a pro to play with you. So you're there's five on a team. Wow. And wow. you got a like it's a five man Ambrose and you got a pro. Mm. That's and I'm fucked. like it would have just been sick. But yeah, anyway, that would have been so cool. We fucking suck, so well, mate, there's always <laughs> next time. That's anyway, right. that's my fucking Don't do a Jackson Hastings. Don't throw the toys out of the cot. Just fucking yeah. pick your chin up and <laughs> keep going. Well, we actually said I was like, Oi, we need to play a few fucking comps and just Hit them in the piss and blow the handicap. Yeah, get them nice and high so you can win by point one. <laughs> yeah, because if we had had a better handicap, like mine's mm. low because I haven't played since I was playing really well. Yeah, yep. so it should have been higher. 
Anyway, fucking, I'm that's, over. Yeah, I'm over. Good stuff. fun, though. It's, oh, good fun session. It's so fun yeah. just birdieing everything, you know? Like, it's so much. It's yeah. like, Ambrose is so much Couldn't karma because and you tend to forget about a lot of your bad shots. Exactly, yeah. If your teammate can clutch up and you go, well, that's fine then. I yeah. was like. You, who gives you a know, fuck? You know, we shot a fucking Mm-mm. three under, four under that day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's good. Anyway, we'll move on. <laughs> yes, there was a lot of golf <laughs> Just like I had moved on. Um, how is old mate, was it Dan Ganane or whatever? Janine Ganane, however you say it. Uh, calling Alliance the modern day cauldron. That's boys. one of the worst takes I've ever heard. I surely, as soon as that come out of his mouth, he just went, Oh, no. What did I just say? What did I just say? Fucking ridiculous. So Has it ever been called that before? No. Nah, there's, but there is a modern-day cauldron, and it's called fucking Suncorp. That's right. The one it that's still, still exists. Yeah. Suncorp's the modern-day cauldron, and Lang Park. the other one's Lang Park. Yeah. And it's the same fucking joint. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what a fucking idiot. Yeah. Oh, man. What, how does that even cross you? Like, everyone has a brain fart. It's hard when you're live. He probably mm. said it and went, Ooh. Surely he went mm-hmm. fuck. So oi, I've probably said heaps of things like that. Oh, I so Dan, have. I, but if we it, can edit. Yeah, if, <laughs> that's right. So if you didn't mean it, mate, whatever. But but I hope you don't just go. No, nah, it's fucking. Can we fucking actually? It. No, fuck that. We want an apology. <laughs> Because Queensland, yeah, Queensland, Queensland, Queensland want an apology, yep. Dan. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't good enough. That was fucking. And you're a, you're a whore. fucking red hot shot for squeeze this week. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Good commentator too, but. Do yeah, you like him? Letting, no, I don't, I don't mind, mind him. him. I think he. I he's think very he's theatrical. Good. Yeah, very. I think he's okay. Yeah, yeah. He's not. He's not anything to shit on. Put it I'm that not, way. Yeah, but well, the cold I'll call, shit all over that. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. unloaded oh. a grog bog on him. That was for a that. Yeah, that was fucked. Hey, let's talk before we get into the actual fucking footy and all that. Quick chat about the Tigers potentially pater- permanently moving away from Leichhardt. Yeah. Mm. So they reckon that's a disgrace if they do that, just I fucking, fucking straight up. I agree. Uh, that joint was fucking rocking on Saturday night. If Bef- that- before kickoff even, yeah. it was fucking going off. The Wayne Pierce Hill was just, yeah. oh, mate, it looked awesome. I went, I said this to you on the phone on the weekend, I went to put his multi on, the Sharks, Mulatalo, yeah. Katoa, yeah. while I was watching the pregame. And I went, started to shake. Ooh, <laughs> I'm just going to sit out and watch this because yep. fucking I just had this little feeling. I went, geez, that looks good. And then it shot to the tigs in the tunnel and they're shaking the legs, like taking mm, in the deep yep. breaths and that. I'm like, fuck, they could be up for this. Big anyway, upset. Um, I agree with that. If you look at the fact that they want to abandon Leichhardt but then upgrade places like when they upgraded Parramatta Stadium or even Penrith Stadium – why not just fucking do some upgrade work at Leichhardt and right. have all the games there. Fix the shitty facilities, whatever they've got, because that, like you said, that hill was packed. Yeah, and they do it on a Friday, they do it on a Saturday, it's why they do it's, it on a Sunday. Yeah. Of it's why it's there. important. Bean counters are important, but <laughs> you can't have all a bunch of fucking nerdy bean counters up high because they don't get the nostalgic shit. That's they don't right. get the why it means so much to a team and makes them win there. It doesn't. They don't get the heartland of footy and all that shit. They're just nerdy cunts looking at who are looking at the numbers and yeah. the business. And if that it takes over everything, then you lose those sort of things because you can't tell them those things. They don't mm. get it. Don't get it. Yeah. yeah. And I think if you – because they have the option of um, ANZ, say, what is it now? Uh, Alliance. Alliance. Or, no, no, no the Alliance. SFS, Sydney Football Stadium. The Olympic Stadium where they play Origin every ANZ. year. ANZ. No, it's called no. something else than fucking A now. It's got a new sponsor, but it's anyway. the SFS Sydney Football no, Stadium. That's not, where they do the walk under the fucking tunnel. And I know Sydney Football Stadium. I'm talking about A and Z. Let's just say A and Z. Anyway, A and Z. I'm sticking with that. That's what I've known as forever. <laughs> just say what, that's what it is. Yes, A and Z. No, it's not. Just and say it. <laughs> <laughs> and they have Campbelltown as well. Yeah, yeah. Ditch fucking A and Z. Ditch Campbelltown, make Leichhardt full time, renovate it, put all your revenue into that. Mm. Yeah, we should I be think they should join. Yeah, well, mate, there's just not that many of those grounds anymore. Nah, so fucking hold on to those ones that you still got. That's Look what right. happened. The cunts, fucking thirty-two nil to the dogs at Belmore. Exactly. Place right. was off its head. Exactly right. Thirty-two six or whatever it was to yeah. the Tigs. Unreal. It's good for footy. Anyway, we'll get into <clears> that soon. 
Bit of RRLC. Did you see someone posted <laughs> Big Roycey Hunt? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Plays for the Sharks. Mm. He's uh, comes off the bench normally as a pig in the in the middle. Yeah. And he's injured his calf warming up on the sideline. <laughs> what a fucking Reggie move that, that is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, That's what you get for warming up, mate. Proper yeah. Reggie behaviour. Um, no, apparently he is an absolute machine in the gym. I remember listening to a... Um, it must have been a game a while ago, and they said something about him breaking some bench press record. True, he's a true. fucking big man, yeah. Royce Hunt. He's got a so bit. So shout out to him. I'm a big fan of him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> <Royce. laughs> Don't warm up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what you get. Just bro. here, have a, have a sniff of Vicks and fucking rub Maybe some rub DP down, down the calves. calves. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Dean Sanderson posted. Big this Sandy. is pretty cool, but also it'll piss you off. <laughs> His missus doesn't watch any footy, right? But she goes in the tip and comp. Yeah. She's put her tips in for every game for the whole year. What? So she doesn't forget. Gone seven, eight, eight, and is eight points clear on top of the ladder. <laughs> Get fucked. That's fucked. That's fucked. I told you it'll year. piss you off. I told I am, you. I'm doing that next year. She's put in every round, every game, every round, and has gone seven, eight, eight. I wonder which one she got wrong. Yeah. Out of those three. It would be probably. Well, you don't know. You wouldn't pick. have a fucking. Yeah. Holy <laughs> fuck, man. That is impressive. Eight points on clear on top of the ladder. I'm Oi, like, next do, year, you, do you now that you're ahead, do you like go, oh, fuck? Or next year, can we all get our missus's pending? We're all still with them. Hopefully we are. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if we're still, if we still are. A few big trips coming up. Yeah. <laughs> if we still are, let's get them to do our first round tips next year. Yeah. Yeah. That, because well, that's the best I'm round. trying to do it. It's I can't go any worse. No, neither. Uh, I'm going okay, actually, in the um, NRL. Have you seen what I'm coming still in the... Um... No. Oh, see, I'm going pretty well in the league. I'm 100 out of 900. Or... Oh, that's all right. In the AFL, 559th Oof. out of 586. <laughs> wow. Well, well, I don't think I'm doing too bad in the AFL. But yeah, round I'm... one in the footy, it just fucked me. I'm only three points beyond the top in the NRL, but... I'm fucking about ten points. I'm off. about I'm about the same in both. I'm about fucking four hundred and seventy six in the NRL. Click on click on it on the lead, like on the actual thing and see how many points behind you. I'm forty first. Six, in the so AFL. it's fuck all. Yeah, nah, it's fuck all. Forty first in the AFL. Yeah, fuck yeah, red. Oh, that's I'm, why you're the AFL man. That's in this right. Fucking show. Um, that's just right. quickly, I had to Google because it was doing my head in. It's a core stadium. Oh, a core. Yeah, with previously known as. AFL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Olympic Park. Well, what the fuck's the SFS then? That's Allianz. Oh. So that was Sydney Football Stadium, and then Allianz bought it out, got knocked down, renovated. Fuck you, Allianz. Yeah. And, <laughs> and a core. Yep. Um, They're all shit. Last one, Jack Stocklam. This made me all warm inside. Photo, put up a photo of his old girl still running the analog footy tips. Fuck so yeah. Oh, I saw that. Gets I a thought text, you'd love it. Gets a text from everyone on a Friday. Or yep. It must be a Thursday, Arv, sorry. And writes them all down. That's awesome. For whose tips are whose? That's so Fuck, Reggie. That was good. Um, and you can't you can't skip past her either. No, no, I said this like fuck. No, you didn't. No, yeah. you didn't, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good stuff. So that was prime. Uh, nice. There's heaps of heaps going on in the RLC again. Plenty. As uh, always. Just quickly on me copying an absolute <laughs> hiding oh. for. <laughs> Fucking tipping against my team. Oh, wow. Now, wow. Shut up and hear me out. <laughs> now, this, there's a difference between, and this is what you simpletons were not understanding. Not you two. <laughs> well, you two as well, actually, is mm. they're going, turncoat, turncoat. <laughs> I sat here on Thursday night and screamed at the laptop. You did. Because I would fucking happily get the tip wrong if the Bronx won, right? Mm. But you can't look at that game and go, yeah, I think we're going to win. I reckon we had yeah. a 10% chance, and that's being generous before kickoff, and two minutes in we had a 2% that's chance. That's right. I think you're not a turncoat. And that anyway. never, those words never came out of my mouth. No. If anything, you just take I the, will it, agree it is probably smarter tipping, but I think with my Brisbane fucking blood when it comes to tipping, not – you just brain. take the chance on yeah. that 10%, yeah. Chase. Yeah. I take that 10% yeah. because if that's I fair. fucking got that like we did round one last year, yeah, I that's was fair roosting enough. around. I um, 
I just would love to see them win, but when I don't think they're going to because of just, what's going on. I just love watching an uproar and then they all oh. just grab hold. <laughs> it's just, oh, yeah. And you it's sit like, there going, oh, fuck off. It's, it's, like, to talk, <laughs> it's like trying to talk to a brick wall sometimes. That was one of the biggest uproars I've seen in the RLC over anything, yeah. actually. It was great. There's been a recent one about um, cutting grass, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one C. Yeah, Larry. Right. Has, Best thing I've ever done, man. Has... Uh, Oi. Best thing I ever did. Well, the way it come up on the it's, Alpha I've, Blokes, I was, I was literally talking about how lately I've had no time. I mean, lawn's been a joke, and it actually sprung in my mind the other day. I went, should I just fucking get a cunt to mow me lawn? And I went, nah, nah, I'm not going to lose touch with the common man yet. <laughs> and started talking about it, and then I'll, I'll do it, goes... Didn't know fucking grape. Yeah. Hey, some cunt the other day. You should start calling yourself the A grape. <laughs> I'd only just told that cunt that too, the day before. Yeah, so anyway. I was fresh in his head. Yeah, you know. yeah. Nah, but it's all good. I uh, <laughs> Funny story about that. So mm. it was when um, when he was overseas. I've got a cleaner in too. <laughs> cleaner yeah, I was going to say that. Because I don't get home till 8 o'clock minimum. Oh, fucking play any on. week. Well, night. no one has a problem when you get a cleaner in. So yeah. like, Anyway, anyway, his ass don't get 50s. home till night time on any weekday. Mm. So, and I've always had this weird thing for forever that you have to mow after work because doing it on the weekends is wasting your weekend. So I'm like, after work, we knock off pretty early, got to mow after work because you fucking, you're fucking you only at work. Yeah, yeah. So you just yeah. go home, mow, and then it's done. The day's fucked anyway. Saturdays are for the boys mm. and punting and drinking. That's right. And then Sundays are usually for golf. So and it's being like, hungover. I'm not fucking. Where does mowing fit into that? I've all, <laughs> always just said you can't. I don't know why. It's just always been a thing. That's so a good call. Next thing, i am fucking got no time during the week, and I'm like, I'm not mowing on the weekend. Ring, I... Wasn't going to do it, and I'm getting a coffee at fucking some joint, and there's a big, the old school notice board. The analog. Take yeah. a little tag. And it had the little tags and analog. shit True. on it. And it was, you could tell it was an old bloke, Cole. Oh, Cole's, Cole. Cole's mowing service. Yep. Give him a call, played a bit of phone tennis. He's called me back, and I said, mate, I fucking, I don't care what it, you just tell me what you think it's worth, and I'll pay it. I'm not going to barter with you over 10 bucks. Mm. Yeah. And he's like, I'll go out and quote it. And his missus is in the background. Tell him we'll go out and quote it tomorrow. <laughs> And he's like, yeah, right, I will come out and we'll quote it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, right. rings me up, 60 bucks. I'm like, fucking oath, laughing. Let's go. And I was at work, obviously, put the money under the fucking doormat. Yeah. He goes, you want me to do it fortnightly or whatever? And I'm like, oh, mate, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. It should be all good, but I'll let you know. It's coming into dry season, so yeah. I'll only have to do it once a month. Like, yeah, I'll yeah. probably be right to do that. Anyway, <laughs> fucking missus comes back. The very next, like, two two Thursdays time, phone's ringing, hey, Dale, what's up? Why is a bloke mowing our lawn? Because <laughs> <laughs> she's not even been told about no. this. Oh. <laughs> and I just went, fuck, serious? He's, she's like, yeah. And I'm like, fuck, you're going to have to go get the old cunt some cash. Yeah. <laughs> so she's had to riff and get him some money and... He's like, oh, I lost his number and I couldn't contact him to see if he wanted it, so I just thought I'd turn up. And I'm just like, you fucking did not lose my number. You, <laughs> he's just jippy. Cool. Oh, true. <laughs> nah, he would have. He would have. But anyway, I've called it. I texted him and said, hey, mate, cheers for that. Appreciate it. Jeez. I'll be right now. I'll you know? be right from now on. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> prime. That funny, so Imagine good. that, man. If like. Another way around if some chick just started to come clean in your house and you're in there. Like, hey, there you go. <laughs> like, did she go out and say good day? Or she, did she call you straight up? Be like, oh, there's a cat. Yeah, yeah. She's called me and been like, what the fuck is a bloke? <laughs> I could think she's, of thinking, she's thinking, oh, mate, next door's lost the plot. He's yeah. got dementia. <laughs> he used to mow this lawn for Beatrice. And fucking. <laughs> that's, oh, that's awesome. Fucking funny. Oh, yeah, good on him, old Carl. thank him enough, old Carl. Good on him. He's saved me. So, yeah, invest. It's fucking worth it. Look, mate. Unless you're I happy think, to do it on the weekends. Uh, I yeah. think I'll get there one day. I just can't quite. Yeah, yeah that's all right. Mm. I'll still do the servicing on the mower even though it doesn't get started. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> do you have to do that? <laughs> <laughs> fucking never have. Hey, no, nah, what you want to do is you want to pull it 15 times, kick the fuck yeah, out of it. Yeah, that's right. Nearly have a fucking heart attack and then when it finally starts, go... <laughs> Just shake the head and start pushing. I still remember putting <laughs> crop circles in my lawn when I fucking something happened and the and the deck dropped down and I was trying to start it, didn't know the deck dropped down and I'm like, you fucking can't kick the shit out of it. Moved it forward a bit and realised that the deck had dropped down and I've put 
dirt crop circles in me backyard oh. trying to pull start it and flung the cunt across the oh. lawn. Uh, Would have been great viewing for someone else. Yeah, you yeah. haven't had a true dummy spit until you've had starting a lawnmower dummy spit. Do you know how easy it breed. is for it not to not have that either? It's so easy to service the cunts. Mm, <laughs> Put a be. fucking air filter Fuck in that, and let's rip it 20 buckets. times. Literally take you five minutes. Mm. Uh. Yeah. Anyway, that's mowing. That's that's mowing. <laughs> that's mowing. That's why you pay coal. G's mowing. <laughs> mowing with G. Mowing with coal. <laughs> Good on you, Cole. Give him a call if you're in the Boyne Tannum Calliope area. Yeah, well, there you oh, go. Nice. Gladstone, you know, he'll do it. Fucking I see. And will. don't fucking rip the cunt off either. If he says this is how much it's worth, you pay him. Yeah. Don't try and say, oh, no, nah, I'll give you back in 55. It's $5. So I've never shit. understand yeah. stood cunts who barter for like, if you're selling something for $30 on Marketplace, it's normally oh, yeah. that good a value anyway and cunts still hit you with a 20. And it's like, <laughs> come on, bro. It's <laughs> just trying that. Hit life. you live too. They'll rock up and hit you with a, like, just bring 20 bucks. And you go, no, no, can't. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I know. That's Marketplace mowing golf and yeah. uh the the new modern day cauldron. Mm, that's so right. Let's that's get into the league. A bit of a recap. Mm. Um, yeah. So, oh, they have, we've already talked about that point. Um, Judy to bend, boys. We we've already put yeah. a video about yeah. it. Yeah, what, we've talked about it. Like, that was that was hot. Yeah, that, we'd only just watched that. So that just happened. I think uh, the Judy to bend thing. I still think. He, I wonder if he thinks. Oh fuck! I probably shouldn't have said. You have a duty to bend, like maybe he says you have a duty of care of how you approach mm. someone. It was a bit reckless watching it a few times now. The he, more I've watched it, the more I'm like, oh, why didn't yeah. he wrap his arms? I still, I still think though, if they're going to penalise that, they need to write a rule yeah. that that puts it in black because like you can't be vague because yeah. you, you need to be out of with a player like Reese Walsh. If you're going to sit back on him. He'll fucking cut you to pieces. Like, yeah, you have yeah. to rush up like that. That's yeah. Right. And, like, he's probably trying to wrap the ball up. And if he puts that little jink on, all of a sudden he's sort of held up a bit, but he's running full pace, collision sport. Like, yeah. I just think you have to make a rule separate if you're going to start penalising one because there's an injury or something. Mm. It's a fucking hard one. Graham Annesley came out and said, if that shit happened, like, he's pretty much saying that's not happening again. He's not. If that happens again, it's not like going. Off for free. He's not just going to get away with it. Mm. If that makes sense. Like he's going to get. They'll probably. Well, there be was a so, so if like a bad head clash happens again. It's it's. If not... Someone rushes up there with no duty to bend <laughs> recklessly. Mm. They'll be punished. So what about this one then? Nah. What are they just letting it slide for? This but I time? mean the duty to bend thing. I'd love him to explain that. Mm. How? What the fuck do you mean a duty to bend? Mm. Does yeah. a hooker bend against a front rower? No, because he's a fucking half a foot like. Two foot shorter than the cunt, so he's not bending. He's mm. fucking actually extending to try and get around the ball. That was, what are you yeah, talking yeah. about, dude? I'd say the rap he could have like made more of an attempt to wrap the arms. But Judy that's cares not bending. The right yeah, word. yeah. Judy not care. Judy to bend. Yeah, what a fucking <laughs> carry on. Like on that TikTok thing, there was a heap of butt hurt cunts on there, which was oh, found funny. Learn there? the rules, okay, cunt? Where's it say fucking bend in the rules? <laughs> You know, that's yeah. yeah. See, that's uh, we'll probably end up towards uh, the rugby union rules, mm. but with them, it is that you do want to bend, yeah, sort of thing because everyone's so low, yeah, yeah. So, if you true. lead if you lead with the head in union, you get yellow carded straight yeah. away. If there's any head contact, mm. you get yellow carded because if it's he, he didn't exactly lead with the head, no, but yeah, um, so I reckon we'll probably end up there. It, it does suck that, like. I'm a fucking Penrith fan, but no one wants to see a player with a fractured fucking face. No. And, and be it like that, like Walsh. Like, as in, no one wants that at all. I just feel like, yeah, if they want to do something about that, they need to change the rules because at the moment there was technically nothing fucking wrong with him flying up like that and them having a head clash right now in the rule book. Do you reckon if Walsh didn't split his face right open and it was like... Because head, he knocks, back head knocks just happen, man. You can't fucking avoid them. Just mm. wrong place, wrong time. Yeah. If and it, like, do you reckon if he didn't cop a whack cheekbone, yeah, of course. they would have been Play would have let off? Yeah, they would have yeah. Been if he just oh, went okay. bang and they both went, oh, and kept yeah. running, nothing happens. Yeah. But the same thing fucking happened. Mm. So yeah. that's what, yeah. But we have spoken about this before. Mm. Because it's a proper judicial process with lawyers and shit. It's like a court hearing. Yeah. If you fucking 
shoot at something and miss, mm. you go to jail for six months. If you shoot at someone and hit them and kill them, That's you go right. for fucking 20 years. Yeah. yeah. So it's like you have to – I don't reckon it needs to be like that, but you still do need to take the outcome into, yeah, yeah, into yeah. consideration a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not the whole thing like they do in a court, but yeah. a little bit. Yeah. You can't have two actions – that were the exact same thing and then one outcome was this and the other was that What a, not take it into What I'm worried about is it's going to be a knee-jerk thing like every other fuckhead in today's mm. world, not just that in industry and shit. When someone gets hurt, they put a blanket rule on to just be retarded and it fucks everyone's job. No knives. <laughs> no, you have to wear a welding yeah. jacket to use a fucking grinding disc, <laughs> like all this sort of shit. Like I just hope now that they don't put some big rule in with head clashes mm. and then when you get a little head clash, it's a penalty all of a sudden. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's a touchy off, one. They need well, to just chill yeah. a bit and just fucking have a think about what to do without – Enforcing a rule that they can't yeah. take back. Well, back to what I was saying for Graham Annesley, he's head of football and like works for the NRL, and he came out and said he believes Talon May should have been charged. So who, that'll might set a precedent and make it like black and white. Mm. Who is he? He's head of football. But but my thing That's is, what is black and white? Yeah, what there is isn't it? any? Yeah. Anytime is it, is your it? head makes a collision, yeah, I don't know, man. That's it's what I weird. mean. That's what I mean. It's weird. It was more than just not. Because sometimes Bending. it's because sometimes it's like the player with the balls fall. Do they step into someone? There's a head clash. Like yeah. is it then they get penalised, or it's just oh, weird. it's hard to make this one black. I and think white it'll just so we'll just keep factors. going around in circles. To be honest, on the yeah. subject, but it'll probably yeah. end up honestly. It'll end up where union is, and mm. if you lead with the head, you fucking like Lindsay Collins. <laughs> you fucking yeah, we're back to 1970 where it's that just sounds fucking them. gay. Well. um... Someone said, I think it was this morning I was listening to something, fucking can't remember what, but back when, I don't know how long ago, but back when 80s, 90s, you got taught to fucking grass cut. And yeah. Tackle around right. the hips. That's and how take I learned to legs tackle. Out, fucking which tag so around the legs. The duty to bend is there, but mm. now because you got Adam Fanua Blake and Payne Haas and shit, it's that changed, mate. Moved sideways and offload all the time, you get taught to smack them up top. So. Yep. Wrap the ball up. Know. But mm. at the same time, it's like all the – it's so fucking difficult to find that perfect medium when can't make head contact, but now third man in can't lift a leg slash there's no like hip drops anymore. It's They're just, like yeah. how safe are you going to make the tackle before well, it's like what the fuck I, do they I do? just think you can only make rugby league so safe. It's mm. a fucking well, contact right. sport. There's big grown men running as hard as they can at each other. Head clashes happen, injuries happen. What if there was a knee clash? Is he on suspension because yeah. he fucking ran out and clashed yeah, I mean, his knee? Exactly. Does he have a fucking well, yeah? Martin to power is because <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking lifted his knee. Yeah. Just but, right. but anyway, I just think that sometimes people think you can fix every single thing. Where sometimes yeah. in a game like that, there's casualties. So this is what it was. I remember now. It was big laws daily, and oh, yeah. Michael Clark actually had fucking a, a good thing to say, which was awesome. Good on him. Um, yeah, Laurie was sort of saying this is like they'll try and do this because we want to uh, bring kids into our game and yeah. it's the parents' thing, not want them to play a sport mm-hmm. where they can get hurt. And Michael Clark just goes, well, don't let them drive a car then. Don't let them get in the ocean because there's sharks. Yeah, Don't let them right. drive a car because there's more car crashes than there will be injuries on a football field. Yeah, exactly. And he just had a big blow up. I was Thank like, fuck. fuck yeah, Clark. He's yeah. spot on, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's like, it's a contact sport. Of course these things are going to happen. Yeah. But anyway, and Laurie's there going, understand all that. I'm just telling you what will happen. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. Yeah, but that was a great analogy. I like that. Mm. All parents want their kids to learn to drive. Yeah. Well, fucking don't let them do that because it's dangerous. Mm. You can still fucking hurt yourself just as bad in a non-contact sport. Just don't leave the house. Yeah. And even then. Keep them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's hurt. right, man. It's just... It's Don't just... let them use a fry pan. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's a chance for injury in fucking everything. Yeah. Obviously, different fucking severities, but... Soccer mums. Anyway. Yeah. So hey, let's the, move on. There's the first game. Let's... Yes. Yeah. We don't... Well, well that's we did, the biggest talk. We didn't point. even talk about the score because who cares? Nah. Um, yep. Rabbitohs, boys. Oh, man. They... I've... Are just in all sorts. <laughs> there, there's Big more drama. than just the surface thing at that club right mm. now. The the roster they got and the way they're performing does does not match up. I reckon there's some fucking shit going on there. Mm. The, the, just the trail interview, the few things happening 
that was the one chance I reckon they had of like pull it out of the fire. Jackie Whiten's back in. The boys are there. Yeah. The in- injection I don't know of him. One chance. But... No, no, no. But I just went for me. To, the, to, to change the way it's been going, to yeah, show up and yeah, really yeah, hook yeah. in, and it just went the fucking total opposite. That's and I'm right, like, yeah. well, what else is going to happen now in a week or two that's going to change that? Yeah, and, and I agree. I yep. think the teams they're playing mm. might change it. Yeah, Because they yeah. have had, a t- like, Manly, Brisbane, Roosters. Yeah, that's if a good If they beat a lower-tier team, they might get a bit. But 48-6. Like, yeah. Oh, they what just the gave fuck? up. That was fucked. Maybe is Whiten going, uh-oh, <laughs> what have I done here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but I just, th- I just think there's something going on at the club. That's not there's fucking something yeah, we don't yeah, fucking yeah, know yeah. for sure. Well, didn't Sam Burgess leave? Yeah, Burgess left. So, he didn't want to be around the toxicity. That's right. That's right. Spot on. Kind <laughs> of what we're saying. An and, word, like, but... people are talking about the coach and stuff like that, which obviously he's the first one under fire when the – Teams going shit, but it might be the fucking players there that might need to be split up, or, yeah. or just whatever's going on. I don't know. You can't comment if you can't see what's going yeah. on. Well, everything's the falling into place too, because um, Josh yeah. Mansour came out on that podcast that he was on, and he said about how he didn't. I don't know if this could be his one example, obviously, but it fits what's going on right now with mm. Rabbitohs. Him saying he got named for a team, and then in the captain's run before the game. Dimitro dropped him and they just never gelled together, blah, blah, pretty much shat all over him on this podcast. Yeah. Man saw did, yeah. Yeah, he's been copping heaps of stick from people about it. But, like, that fits in the whole, is Dimitro the right man? When you've got <laughs> yeah. Mansour saying that, they've lost their fucking game. Is he just whinging because he didn't Mansour also yeah. said, though, that they did this thing where they had, like, a projector and all the people leaving the club that year. He was first up there and he didn't know he was leaving. Oh. And he saw yeah. it. That's good. That's what he said. So I'm like, yeah, that's not good. (laughs) No, not at all. But, yeah, it might be a mixture. might be a mixture of both. But we just had a look. The Engrapes and the Rabbitohs are playing the Bulldogs. Yeah, they got the Dogs this week. So it's like. The good Friday. Righto. Fucking here we go. And then I think they got another fucking not so great team the week after. The next three, I think. Yeah, Warriors the week after that. Yeah, Mm. so they got. The Warriors are going all right. But the next, if they can end up three and three. After six rounds, all of a sudden everyone's going, it's like, all good. Oh, so. they'll forget about what we're talking about right now and they'll yeah. say, the rabbit is back. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, what about Saturday, boys? How good was it seeing the dogs and the tigs get it done at their local fucking iconic grounds? As Belmore, we talk about and like those small Sydney stadiums, yeah. the time, and it's just perfect. 32 nil. Like, just a pace. Absolute I, spanking. I think the Queensland's the heartland of rugby league, but. Those stadiums are the heartland of fucking New yeah, yeah, South Wales right. rugby league. Yeah, that's where the we passion can give that is. Credit. That's where the fucking the real rugby. Yeah, league Fuck, you'd meet into some its characters work. at Leichhardt. I reckon. Mate. Oh, <laughs> it was very uh, Belmore. I reckon more than anywhere. Just yeah. personally, for me, the Tigers doing that to the Sharks and ruining my sure thing multi coming home. Yeah, stung. But from just a rugby league standpoint, that is great stuff. Great to see him win. Fucking Absolutely. awesome. Great to see him win. Yeah. And to do that. And then the other game that day, Dragons played it. They played it fucking Jubilee or something. Yeah. You know? What what a roller coaster. So that they was. had the same opportunity, you know. Like, they were up 18 4. I know. I checked the score and went, ah. So I copped what the, the fuck? I copped a couple of texts about the Hawks oh, yeah. it, from a couple of Cowboys supporters. And it's 18-4, and oh, I am just, just trouncing. Oh. And then I didn't send anything. I went, just hold your fucking horses here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God I did. That's a lot of points. Yeah. Very the cows nice are just game. flying, aren't they? Mm. Well, they're scoring lots of points. They're letting a few in too. 70 but... points in that game. Yeah. It's wild. They're going well, but they haven't played, you know. This will be a test for them this week Mate, against the Bronx. That's is right. Titans red hot for Wooden Spoon? They are in Tino trouble, man. gone for the season, trouble, which is trouble. like we've got – we'll go through injuries after we go through a bit of the footy because injuries oh. is fucking hectic right now yeah. in the NRL. I've so never many, seen anything like it. Yeah. Well, I remember when the those new rules first come in, which sped the game up, and there was all those analysis mm. um, saying like, is this causing the injuries and shit? But I don't know what's going on this year, which we'll get to a bit later, but oh, it's fucking bad. I hate terrible. seeing yeah. someone like Tino like that 
pretty much the backbone bone of the club and the one that's showing the way and actually hooking in and goes down. For feeders yeah. out. So fuck. he's sort of take. Yeah, fuck, That's man. big dramas. It mm. was a bit, uh, when they put the replay of how he did it up, he's sort of gone in with the bumper. The bumper bar yeah, forearm. As yeah. he does. And I didn't have the sound or anything on. And I'm like, oh, fuck, is he going to get pinged for that? And next thing he's limping off and I'm like, oh. Because our old mate that he's bumpered has sort of just slipped down. It wasn't a hip drop or anything. It was yeah, just yeah. a footy accident. Yeah. It slipped down around the ankles and, yeah, he's, oh, no Like good. the head clash thing, sort of. Yeah. Not good for uh, us Queenslanders either. Oh, nah, no. but we got plenty of So much depth. Doesn't matter. Yeah, just put Ruben in. Just for put 80. anyone in. Literally anyone. Fucking, yeah. Give me the I'll, take, Yeah, me the put cup. me in, Marone, and I'll do <laughs> the job. <laughs> yeah. Against those quit. cowards. <laughs> cowards. <laughs> um, um, look, um, yeah. so, awesome to see. Good yeah, to see yeah, us. fucking Good hard, for yep. Benji. Good for the Tigs. How yep. was it they all had the fucking pieces of paper oh, out singing yeah. the song? Yeah. I would have got the cameras out of there, man. I wonder if, if I was going to do that, I would have said, fuck these cameras yep. off. We are going to get hammered So that's for this. a thing of new players not winning and potential new song? Possibly. With Benji coaching. There's a lot gone. of pieces of paper How can you there? change the song? Well, it might be shit. <laughs> Even... <laughs> Bateman, like players who were there last year, I just saw like kind of a snapshot of it. And there yeah. was a couple in there that definitely would have won a couple of games last year and been able to sing it. So it might have been a new song. At the paper. Might have been a new song. You who might knows? be onto that. If you're there the year before, you don't need paper, bro. Surely. No, you don't need paper. Surely you don't need you know paper ever. I could pound the Roosters song right now from Calliope. That's right. It becomes muscle that. memory. I could do the Wallabies one, which we will not be doing. That They will get arrested if there's any camera near that shed at Wallabies. <laughs> Let's just if say you know, that. you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Great game Sunday, boys, and it was always oh, going to be yeah. a classic game of footy. Uh, super controversial call, but before, let's just not even, let's play on for right. the obstruction, all yep. right? Let's play on. Yep. Nothing happened. It's play on. Turbo threw that cunt two metres forward at least. You reckon? Mm. Fuck yeah. But it was out, like, out the back of his hands, it travels forward. Oh, I kind don't of constitutes know about his full that. While we're yarning, first I'm going to get the I highlights went, up. And first year I went that so forward, but watching it again a couple of times, I was like, you can see why it's 50 50 call. You Plus reckon? the bunker can't over call. Over yeah, I know, it. but yeah. that's what I'm saying. With, with the Shepherd call, that's, as much as you look at it and go, he wouldn't have got there, how many tries do you see disallowed like that? Yeah. Like the rule book has to change if that's. If I'm that so get that was a, sick of defenders. Using the obstruction rather than making this a is tackle. this was a classic That's that smart thing from last saying, week. Oh, it's smart play. He was never going to fucking <laughs> reach him, so he went. I'll use the big smart play here, <laughs> yeah. and that was like textbook of it. And it's doing my head in. When was it? Gropes in the in the game? Oh, was it fuck. late in the game? It was, I'm just trying to find it. It was late, yeah, because Manly would have won the game with it. Oh, so it was, it was right at the end. It yeah. wasn't. I didn't right get a chance to fucking watch it. It was. Uh, they were taking the lead. Ten so. minutes or so yeah. to go, I think. What's the score you got there now? Twenty-two eighteen. Uh, yeah, actually, twenty. Twenty something. What is it? Twenty-eight eighteen. Yep. He scores there. Is it when it was twenty-eight twenty-four? I think so. Oh, I thought it was when it was fucking earlier than that. Yeah, a bit of controversy. Yeah, anyway, we're going to might have to do Oh, some. yeah. That's yeah, you've good. nailed that. Oh, anyway, now we're watching an ad again. The point yeah, we is, won't watch it. in my opinion, he's fucking thrown it three metres forward. Yeah. <laughs> and mm. everyone's going, oh, robbed. But there's a re- footy has a funny way, and so does all sport, actually, of catching up with you. Like the calls always seem to even out. Yeah. Even if they don't in that game, they'll even out over the season. You know what that's I mean? That's right. It's got a funny way of catching up with the, the old sport. So mm. that just – You proved, harp on when it happens to you proved it to and me. then you defend it when yeah. it fucking happens to – I'm going, team. cunt, that was forward. You've just cost the eels the game and then it gets called back for that and I'm like, there you go. There's the justice. Yep. <laughs> anyway. And then the, the Knights got the job done. I guess, yeah, uh, just. Yeah. Fucking great effort from the Storm. What – to fuck? keep it that close, oh, yeah. With no halves. No one. And yeah. Wishart scored a late try, and I thought, yeah. shit, they oh, might be able to come back anyone else think here. for a second, here we go, Pappy's done a broken neck? Oh, oh dude. He, he, he jumped flipped. up to catch yeah. that ball and got flipped and landed on his shoulder and head, and I was like, oh, no. Yeah, here we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. But how good was it when he – the pace that he put on – 
to get up beside old mate who made that break, I was like, fucking lost no speed. Yeah, there was yeah. one thing that he did, and I'm like, that's good to see. He started well. He, yeah, he started yeah, well. Has started very well, especially with um, everyone out. Yeah, so exactly. He's kind of stepping up, for and the it's boys. good that he started so well because now he might play centre for New South Wales or something. Yeah. There's a lot of put options Trell there, yeah. and him in there, and then yeah. put Drinky at five eight. That's right. Like, and Teddy don't, at four. Don't back. put centers in centers <laughs> yeah. and stuff. And <laughs> yeah, that's the guy. But it, I just got to say that play from KP. I love a good short side raid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And mate, that play alone. If you haven't, if you didn't get a chance to watch it, go watch the highlights. KP. I don't know. About ten fifteen in from the wing. Bang, shows it to the right, drifts out, pretty much is diving forward, throws a spiral cut out to the wing, hits him on the fucking chest and scores. That's just so valuable. So it's just KP. It was proper yeah, KP it's stuff. Just, it's just good stuff. I yeah, fucking love it's it. That's what he does. Love watching that shit. We'll yeah. watch it all day. Matt, big win for him too, man, because if they had a fucking went down there mm. and like, oh, it's a flip of the coin in the end, 14-12. Yep. You look at Melbourne's side of things. Hey, we went to Newcastle and got the job done with no halves, and now we've got the bye, and we're three that and zero. Oh. Like it would have yeah. been massive, mm. man. Because then the boys have got two weeks for the next game, but Newcastle couldn't go zero oh and three. I'll be interested no. to see what happens here with Cogger and if he holds his spot there. I read a, Hastings. I read a, yeah, I read a bit of an article on Hastings. Um, we all know what the media is like, so there could be fucking mayo on it. Could. But, yeah, like there's Real probably mayo likely. on it. <laughs> but normally where there's smoke, there's fire. Like he was axed and um, asked if he wanted to train with the reserve grade, allegedly, and apparently he decided just to go home instead of copping it on the chin. Spat the dummy. Going back. And for me, it's like. Who the fuck doesn't want to train with the Reggies? I, yeah, I, I just pretty mean much like not. there's like Oatsy drop back. And has done that a few times now, like yeah. training with them, playing with reserve grade. It's just part of the system. And I think, like, if you, that happens to you, that's your chance to not crack the shits, go and train right. hard and prove that you're better than no one who is, you're with. Not one single player is bigger than the team or a club. Except yeah. Trent. Admit. Yeah, well, he kinks. <laughs> yeah. If you get dropped, you fucking work your ass off. You're a professional athlete. Especially when you're fucking Hastings well, that's age, right. Like, yeah, and you've had to, all that. I'm pretty sure club. he's been to six clubs. Yep. There and you you're go. always and getting league. injured. Yep. Like, and you do not have that fucking authority. Fucking hell, Jackson. Yeah, yeah he just, um, I don't know, the, the few things that he's done, went over to Super League and just drama around clubs and that, he just seems like a bit of a spoilt mm. fuckwit from afar. <laughs> And I, that's like a good I said, observation. I, I agree. Though. I could be wrong, but like I said, looking from afar, you just go that situation. It's hard too because he was a massive part of what Newcastle did last year. Yeah, he was in that big run. Yeah, but you got to respect O'Brien for going. We've just lost two in a row that we shouldn't have lost. Mm. We got a really good half here. I'm going to give him a crack. Maybe Hastings goes right. I'm going to pull my finger out instead of soaking it and going home. I wonder, but, I wonder how much truth there is yeah, to that. Don't know. That's what we I mean. could see him absolutely fucking carve up. It's just hard. Be the, training his whole off. The problem is though, when you have done those things in the past, which have been confirmed and caused trouble at clubs, and mm. fucking got moved on from multiple and moved over the Super League to get away from it. It's hard when you yeah, come back, believe. it's hard not to go. Oh well, he's just back in his old ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, it'll be interesting to see what happens at Newey. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've I've got a bit of a soft spot for Newey, like especially with players like Gags and and. Yeah. Yeah. in the team That's and right. coming from the Steel City, like yeah. similar to where we're from. I Got like it. Newey. Yeah. Same. So I fucking hope they pull their shit together. The but, Gladstone um, of New South Wales. Yeah, fuck pretty yeah much. it is. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah, it is. And a one city like team as well. Yeah. yeah. I, I, like. I like it. McDonald Jones Stadium, all that shit. Like, That's a good I just, vibe about it, doesn't it? Mm. When they, they, they know how to get around the Knights. Yeah, oh, fuck there. yeah, they do. So that's always good no to see. No other sport too. to compete. Oh, you got Newcastle Jets in the A Oh, the A League, yeah. <laughs> that would oh, draw fuck yeah. Fuck a yeah. huge crowd. Yeah, they get big crowds out there. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see what happens. We see will. What happens we will. It. Let's uh, bang some injuries out because this is oh, fucked. Oh, fuck me. It's a fucking fantasy So I've pretty, pretty much, yeah. I've pretty much just <laughs> screenshotted from the NRL <laughs> website the, the injuries. Not going to go through all of them, but how's this? For a salary cap of the Broncos, this this must be about 70% of their salary cap. Reese Walsh, facial fracture to be announced, like his return time. Adam Reynolds, knee, TBC as well. Payne Haas, knee, round seven to eight. Yeah, so Reno's been named. 
Has he? At half. But yeah, right. whether he plays or not. I yeah. believe like, it when I see it. Yeah, same. I believe it when I see it. A couple but yeah, of needles and some You're not fucking and... wrong. Holy fuck. Maybe we should get some salary cap compensation. If you could pick three players that you didn't yeah. want to be injured, they're them. They're Literally that's our the three. three best. That Without is, a doubt, That two. is the three. <laughs> Without <laughs> yeah. a doubt. It's Easily. them three and then daylight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Heaps of it. Fuck, man. Yeah, that's that pretty bad. shit. Uh, Raiders, they got obviously big red. He comes back round four. That's not a fucking um, big horse. Um, what else we got here? Ado Car round four. He's back, so should be back this round. Is he named? Ado, I don't yeah. know. Uh, Let's get on the uh, app, eh? Yep. Then we got Cody Nicarima head knock. I think the biggest one I saw is Mitch Moses is out for eight weeks. Man, he's got a foot fracture. Yeah, that's that's a big one, that's isn't that's it? Huge. Ado Car not named. Yeah, right. There, well, you, there go. you go. Munster, round five, it's saying here. Yeah, but they, they have no, no fucking they have idea. They have no idea. How weird is Joey that? Joey Johns, when we were on uh, Channel 9 talking about it, he had a similar injury, a groin injury, mm. and it was like one day he'd wake up and he'd feel okay, and the next day, like, getting out of the car was just the worst. It's so yeah. finicky. To, That's what was Munster just... was saying too. He had a run the other day and he felt good, and then Monday wasn't. Yeah. And it's just like, fuck. Well, they're mates, aren't they? It? You can ring Joey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Both Three rascals. Tips. <laughs> but how's this for the Titans? Similar to the Broncos. Three blokes you probably don't want out. Jaden Campbell, Dave Fito, Tino. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I don't know if Jan, I, think, I don't know if Jaden's been named. Been named. Yeah, because it says week. round four, so that's a big in. But for feeder round four to six, it says in Tino next season. Those that are is, your two big massive. money players, long term mm. forwards as well. Not to mention your captain with Tino, like we rambled on about before. But fuck, that is tough, especially in the position that the Titans are in at the moment. Mm. Not not a lot looks good. David for feeder has been named as eighteenth man. Has he? Okay. Yeah, Replacement. Right. So what the potential. Fuck? Well, he might fucking. Sure, he's going to play. Yeah, yeah probably. Thursday night, they'll fucking say he's in the team. Mm. So, what are we got? We got Jason Saab, round seven. He's back for Manly. Big Saab. Matty Lodge with a knee back round six to eight. Not Get to the... mention with the Bronx pick, who is. Uh, yeah, he's not playing well. again. That's handy. He, Ankle injury at training. Even like these three for Cowboys, mate. Helium Lukey, round nine with yeah, an ankle. Jermaine like, Tanua Brown, Achilles mid-season. Cohen Hess next season. Yeah, like Hess is not three. too bad because they've got like Lukey and, um, wow, what's his name? Plays Nanai. for Queensland. Nanai. Nanai. Yeah. And then they've got some good forwards, but... Uh, that Lukey, man, he's fucking hopeless. He gets yeah. so injured. He just gets prone. fucking injured every second yeah, game. Yeah, it's tough, But eh? uh, Cleary's out. Yeah. That's right. How long's he out for? Two, to, two four. to four. weeks. It's another, sh- another hammy. I wonder yeah. if that's going to be, one. yeah, that could be like oh, big drama. Send him to America. Yeah, that's right. Turbo send him over to Canada. Moses is, like yeah, you said, Yeah, 12 Jason, to 13, that's Moses. That's the biggest one. That's, that's Especially because Para are... I think had a great start to the season. They're pretty dependent on Fuck him. He's their main man. It says uh, Campbell Graham sternum round 20 to 22. Really? That's a fucking Ooh. long time. I didn't know he was, um, the he cereal. was that bad. Yeah. Wow. Fucking hell. That's no good. Another pretty... blow for the rabbits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Another one who's shocking with fucking injuries is poor old Billy Smith for Sydney Roosters. He's oh, had a tough He's run. been touted for a lot of years, but he keeps getting these injuries and he's – I don't know how bad it is. It says TBC next to it, but it says ankle for him. Any relation to Laurie Daly? <laughs> They do have the big beak. I'd hate to share a bag with him. <laughs> yeah. What are they for? A bag of what? <laughs> Rice. Um, and then who else we got here? Warriors. Nickel Cox started rounds four to five. Is he Mate, known? that fucking, what's his name? That fullback's going so well for he them. Killed but it. Yeah. Fuck, he's playing well. Can't think of how to say his name, so mm. I'm not going to say it. Oh, fuck. just give it a go, man. He's going. I normally do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He gives a but fuck yeah, if so it's right or Anyway, or just as you shit. can see there, there's so many other players in that, but it just seems at the moment there are so many guns who are sidelined with injuries, and, and I don't really know what the answer is about it. Yeah. Either. As I fucking say that. RTS. They've dropped the fullback, and uh, Tuovasa Shek is playing fullback this week. Yeah. I was going to say, when I was watching. He was might be the, injured, though. When I was at the party watching DWZ try and score, I kept seeing that the fullback, it stopped with him every time. <laughs> I don't know about anything to do with the fullback or the rest of them. But. I reckon RTS killed it on Friday night, eh? 
Especially that try he got at the end where he just burst yeah, the play yeah. open. It's taken he him a couple game. of games. It's taken him a couple of games, but I think he will probably mm. kill it this weekend. Being for a big back. season. Yeah. I reckon he needs to go back to centre, though. And well, play. as soon as Chance comes back, he will go to full back. They guaranteed Surely. him that last year. Yeah. All right, uh, we Are we doing the tips or are we going to do them later, you reckon? I don't care. Okay, we can do the tips. Yeah, we can do NRL. We can do all the tips at once if we do it later. Yeah. For both. Happy days. Let's talk about Get the AFL, AFL because the Collie Wobbles are in full oh, swing. They are. The Premiership hangover is it's real. It's real. And uh, the predicted media pile-on happened. Mm-hmm. Oh, and yeah. now As it's it just going to keep piling on. It was Mark – I don't mind this bloke. Mark Robinson from AFL 360 mm-hmm. sits there with um, the Jared Waitley every yep. week. Now, he's tried to light up a player that went on their show. Like I think it was Jeremy Howe. Yes, he's I tried saw to light this. him up because he showed footage of them, and they're like, "There's five of them in a group, and they're sort of it was jogging yeah. back, and they it was high Maynard five. and Dugowie, and they did a little high five oh, as yeah. the ball was moving along the boundary line, and he's like, is there just no intent?' Yeah, he's going, "Look at that! Like, what is that?" And, and goes, Jeremy Howe's just like. Fuck, mate, come on. Yeah, like, well, that's one little bit. <laughs> the like, thing, it's a high five, you fucking idiot. Oh, man. You and know, look, m- the thing is, Robbo, I actually don't mind him. I yeah. think he's fucking very passionate. And all he, at the end of the day, he's a journo. That's his job. That's is his to job is to look for people. stories. He's yeah. never played a game of footy in his life. Yeah. He fucking has no idea. That's right. So he's just looking for shit. But fucking come on, Robbo, just shut the fuck up. I like you most of the time, so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind the Collingwood slander, especially because Geelong copped it last year when we went 0-3. Yeah, Premiership yeah, yeah. hangover. Oh, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I think a big problem for Collingwood at the moment is their defence, their, like, defensive intent. That, that was their biggest part of their game last year. Like, someone like Darcy Moore is your main man. It Moore, seems yeah. like yeah. he's struggling a bit. But I don't know, where do they go from here? You got a massive game this Thursday, Lions oh. 0-2, come off yeah. the bye, and then Collingwood 0-3. That's a premiership rematch. For like, surely this has never happened before where the fucking two grand finalists have oh, won yeah. a game in round four. Imagine if they get a draw as well. <laughs> Tom would love At that. At the Gabba, man, that's, mm. a, that's huge. I think Lions are going to be heavy, heavy favourites for that, eh? Well, yeah. Have they got? Are they going to have Neil back? Are they going to have? I haven't seen fucking half their team back. Outs, but yeah. Carlton proved that it's not a fortress this year. That's right. And it's like a must win for it's. It's must win for both. It's mu- got to be must win for both. I was going to yeah. say both, but I'm like, is it for the Lions? But it is. Yeah, it's another I home it, game. Yeah, that's right. It's another home game. They've got to fucking that's win. That's right. Huge game. Anyway, we'll talk about that in a minute. The uh, Tommy Q. Mm. Cat's too good for the Crows. Mm. Yeah, just, sad one. Just, mm. just. The game was in the balance there, right? And a, just to see that miss from Fogarty late. Yep, right in front. Mate, no they, that around. momentum was with them and it was like plenty of time left. Yep. And the, it just, he was literally in the square, no one in front of him and he just. It was a grubber. He just switched off, at, like not concentrating, hits the. Kicks it straight into the post. Yep. Fuck so From fucking three metres out. And that just, that was it. Boom. Momentum yep. stopped. Had um, it all behind them and oh, they just completely uh Wind went there. out the sails. Yeah. Tommy Hawkins, he fucking lit the third quarter up. Huge game. Huge. Four yeah. goals and three of them were in ten minutes Yeah, in that third quarter to, yeah. Good um, start to the Cats, eh? Cuts. Two and O to start and going to Adelaide, big whether win. you're versing Port or Adelaide, regardless of how they're playing that year, is fucking big. I reckon that's the toughest trip. I reckon bigger than Perth. Oh I'd say like not distance wise, but like Adelaide Oval. Oh, just because of the team's yeah, I reckon, quality. Yeah. Like and the AO. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I reckon Adelaide Oval is a fortress for both of those teams. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> well but, look, the um both Adelaide teams are touted to go well. That's right. The Crows, everyone sort of had them in the eight. Good to go, they start fucking winning. Go to AO, <laughs> Adelaide Oval and win. Oh, that's, that is big. Yeah. Right. So, How's this um, for Tom Stewart? So his 150th game and he was a huge part in the was defense. Good. 28 touches and equaled the record of 10 intercept marks in a game. And so 150 games, this – kind of blew me away because I know he's been in All-Australian a few times. Yep. So within 150 games, he's a five-time All-Australian, two-time best and fairest, and not to mention a premiership winner. That, that is, has got to be the most decorated fucking career 150. 
in 150. That is wild. Five time All Australian. I didn't know that. He locks in that fullback jacket. That is every prime. Year, man. Good on him. But Good yeah, him. big win for the Cats. I'm pumped. Yeah, you. Oh, would just be. to clarify as well. Uh, Tom and I said that because Penrith won, it was a draw. And Cats won, draw. Yeah. We cancel each other. Out. Yeah. It was yeah, a draw. I can't wear. Yeah, it was one all. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. We're not fucking wearing which the other you shit. you love a dr- yeah. good draw. Fucking I, I'm all about a good draw. <laughs> Maybe you should have picked a basketball team or something. <laughs> Maybe you should have just oh, yeah. had three <laughs> rounds of sparring and see who. True won. shit. Mm. Yeah, right. so actually, Jace isn't the best bloke to spar. Me and him normally. Just Go a bit too hard. Stand there Towards the throwing end, haymakers. Starts, yeah, yeah, just go for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the boxing flies out yeah, the window. Yeah, yeah, for some reason. Everyone else I'm good with, uh, normally so Jason get, and I just. As soon as we get gassed, man, we're like, fuck it, let's just throw. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, you know you can fucking move. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so that's not a good Concrete feet. Uh, how about North in the first fucking quarter? Oh, I know. <laughs> that they was were up a... by 30 points or something earlier. 32 now. points. Frio pegged them back and yep. got the easy win in the end. Um, Hawks were shit. Melbourne Very had shit. Melbourne had Stephen May and fucking what's that other cunt? Jake Lever. Yeah. Off the field for pretty much the whole second half because they were injured. Stephen May's injury was a bit cruel. And actually. we just could not even get the footy down there to even. Thirty six points. Their is defense. that how many he's finished with? Something like that. Yeah, it was fucking low rubbish. Score for years. Absolute rubbish. Um look, whether that was Melbourne playing well or we just are no good. Combo we'll find both. out on Monday, I suppose. Uh, but the Swannies, 3-0. They are flying Unreal high. last quarter. That was game was in the balance too. That was it a was. great last quarter from the Swans. And how good to see two fucking clubs kick over 100 points yeah, in the same game. Yeah, very high scorer. Yeah, that's pretty. It doesn't happen very often anymore. Yeah. It's just good to see 130 to 101 or whatever it was. Yep. Uh, yeah. A lot of uh, controversy over the Peter Wright hit on yeah. Harry Cunningham. So if you didn't see it, he's kind of they've gone in for a contest and at the last second, in my opinion, Peter Wright. Pa- paint it out a bit better. So Peter Wright's running towards the ball and Harry Cunningham's what doing what you call dropping back into the hole. Yeah. So he's sort of running back with the flight of the footy. Yep. And Peter Wright's steaming towards it. Mm. Yeah. And rather than he's within grasp grasp of the ball and he's kind of turned last second. Closed his eyes a bit and led with the shoulder and taken yeah. Harry Cunningham's clean out. Oh. He was on the ground for minutes, had to stretch him off. Yeah. And First I don't know, plan, a lot like, of people are saying that's fucking soft. Like, you know, yeah. what was he meant to do there? There was nothing in it. If he gets in trouble for this, like, like Wayne Carey come out and said he won't watch AFL again <laughs> yeah. if that gets I, in trouble. Honestly, when I first saw it, I just thought, oh, that's pretty bad. He'll get straight time, away. Yeah. I was like, he'll get time for that. It's pretty wild with AFL. There is like, do you know how those big hits of the NFL, mm. like just quickly, you see those highlights of like cunts just getting blindsided, just run. Like AFL's not the only other sport without padding and shit that that yeah, can that happen. Can happen. Yeah. Like where you can just be steaming like as hard as you can and yeah. just pump them yeah. fr- right. from side on. It's fucking wild. Yeah, it doesn't happen that. Often anymore because yeah. if you make any contact with the head, yeah, you're right. And it was clean shoulder to the head. Yeah, and ev- everyone's saying all he's done is he's gone for the ball and then he's braced at the last minute Ooh, to protect it's himself. Wild, eh? And I was like, yeah, but he could have not jumped because he, he was never getting there. A big yeah. man as well. He, he was never getting there. Yeah, if he was, did man he just or man, take he advantage of absolutely folding the cunt in half? No, 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 no. Oh, but right. he was never getting to the ball. But yeah, he's right. chosen to keep tro- trying to get get there. He's never getting there. He doesn't try and spoil it. He just braces because it's for impact, yeah. which you can do. Yeah, I think it didn't have know. like malicious intent. He wasn't going for his head. I think it was just a brain snap. Yeah, and it, but yeah, like, there's it's divided every cunt. Yeah, right. Everyone's going, nah, that's yeah. bullshit. All he's doing is bracing. But he jumped. Sounds like <laughs> something similar to the NRL. Yeah, something that just but I, I'm in yeah. shock that people are arguing over it. I thought What's it was your pretty, opinion? I thought it was, pretty, I thought it was pretty clear cut yep. that he will get suspended. Yeah, right. Me yeah, too. That's He's been referred to the uh, match review officials, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so. we'll see what happens. I but definitely think he'll get at least one or two weeks. Yeah, he will, but I'm just trying to work out where Why, they're coming yeah, from. Why, yeah, what is, I think, is it just old heads saying just like, oh. oh I love it. Don't what's, worry. What's yeah, the rule we, that he broke? He contacted the, yeah. the head. Yeah, shoulder, shoulder, shoulder contact. That is black and white. And he you left the do that. He left the ground. Yeah, right. You can't stretch it. He was so out straight for up. Minutes. That's just like fucking yeah. 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 shoulder hit head. <laughs> that's, what, 
That's what yep. I'm thinking. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Uh, Richmond, Kingy went to the game, like we said. Richmond were up and about early, but then Port just second half kicked 13 goals or something. Nice. Great start for they them. They would have been pumped. For the, to go to the G and do it, that's where they've always struggled is at they the have. MCG. So to go there, do that against Richmond, which isn't, you know, something to fucking toot the horn about, mm. but they've still had to do it. So. King Rich. will be here this weekend too. Yeah, Big coming call. up for Easter. Mm. He just texted me actually. Travis Bokes 350th as well. Yeah, it was. Good I on feel him. like that was not talked about much at 350th. all. 350th. That is a fucking great thing. Yeah. What's, a, like... what's a good, like what's the fucking top sort of amount of games in AFL that, that blokes will play? Boomer Harvey played yeah. 428 or so. He oh. just kept going in yeah. a struggling North Melbourne team too. <laughs> yeah. Just didn't stop. Both knees strapped. Yeah. Be. No, he, and he could have kept going too. Yeah. He still went and played fucking like local footy yeah, and shit yeah, for nice. years. So. Cool. <laughs> But uh, yeah, nah the the four hundred thing. I think Dustin Fletcher did it as well. There's been a few. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a great um, shout. Fuck me, yeah. But Dustin Fletcher was looking old. Me, and I met frail. him. We met him. Were you there? Oh, I don't think I was there. I remember nah. you telling me about it. He's massive, eh? He's tall Big, as fuck. Big tall, lanky yeah. cunt. Met him at the cast mm. and Magic Moons. Yeah, weekend. nice. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah, GWS. you're right, but wasn't probably talked about enough. I didn't watch fuck all new sports news during the week, but. It wasn't like a Buddy 350 or a fucking no, Pen- yeah, Pendlebury. Or... That's right. And he has been, like, I guess it's because Port haven't probably won many premierships since he's been there. So or they're any. like any yeah. since fucking, yeah, 2004. So everyone just kind of sweeps it on the rug. But he has been he's a been massive a captain part. of the club. He's captain, yeah. yeah. He's a massive leader. So I no, think that deserves a bit more fucking respect. Yeah. Good on him. And then, uh, yeah, GWS pumped West Coast, which yep. we won't go into too much. Harley Reid looked all right. Looked in his all second right, game, yeah. he had 17 touches. Like, he's yeah. not he's not exceeding expectations. He's not yeah. doing less. He's kind of right. That's probably yeah. good, though. I think that's good just if someone like that can just do his job and not stand out crazy at the yeah, start to some, then taper off. He can just, just get some time in, do get, his job. Get some fucking that's miles right. in the legs, And it's man. hard to saw like an eagle oh, when yeah. you're surrounded by turkeys. But, yeah, they're <laughs> like it's only so much you can do in a losing team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, righto, the Shield final, Sheffield Shield final boys, WA won, flogged them, really. 350-odd mm. run win it was. Uh, that's their third Shield title in a row to go with three successive one-day comps as well. Wow. Is that so, WA? Yeah. Oh, at least they got something going for them over there. Four <laughs> yeah. comps are just away from everything. They should put them in the fucking footy team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> put a few of them in the footy team. <laughs> Matty Wade, single figures in both innings, so not the finish that he wanted, but yep. – um, yeah, he hangs them up now oh, in does the he? first class arena. Yeah, so he won't won't play you know long format anymore. Yeah, he'll still. Do you reckon he'll still play like international, like play for Australia in twenty twenty yeah. if he gets asked? That's yeah. what I mean. Do you reckon he'll still get picked? Oh, probably not, mm. unless we're playing like a game that we're trying to rest players or whatever. Yeah, he he might, did some um, good things, Whitey. Why yeah, he did. He might get pick, uh He might go. As a backup keeper for Inglis. Yeah, but true. Like, That's who true. else are we going to take? Just morale booster, too. But he can play like in the good... T's, filled in in many spots, not just keeping. Yeah, true. Yeah. Was he, Actually, I watched he, something he, the other day, he did an over. Was that Matty yeah, Wade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Took yeah. the pads off. Yeah, yeah took right. the pads off. He, he sort of got a, went and the keeper. That's yeah. right, yeah. That he got a second wind in his career just batting. Yeah. He, he didn't yep. get picked as a keeper. Yeah. He was getting picked as a specialist batsman. Yeah. And right. uh, he went well. Over mm. The 2019 Ashes, the Steve Smith Ashes. Yes, that's he, right. He made a couple of hundreds over there as well. Yeah. So, he, yeah. um, Was he the one that started the nice Gary? Was he yeah. keeping at the time? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's his best legacy he's left Parking behind. Fucking That's unreal. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. Um, so, yeah, good on him. Yeah, and uh, good on WA as well. Righto. <laughs> Oh, Biffin. the fucking Biffin this. boys. The uh, massive weekend for Aussie boxing, and I'm pumped for it. While Zoo is making his hyped T-Mobile Arena debut this Sunday in the US, Wilson faces Mexico's Oscar Valdez inside Desert Diamond Arena the day before the same Arizona venue as his infamous 2023 world title grubbing yeah, against Emmanuel grubbing. Navarrete. Massive things, boys. Is Two. he going to be there? I don't know. Surely. I think I read a thing where this is pretty fresh. I read it today that Navarrete is apparently moving up a weight class. So there was whispers that this might turn into like a uh, interim the, title yeah. thing. Not sure though. Like that's just 
Uh, that's just why yarn. I'm not even going to. Yeah, just read an article. But, mate, Liam Wilson, one of my favourite boxers. He's nicknamed Mr. Damage for a reason. He's always an entertaining fight if the other bloke wants to bang. Yeah. He's always looking for the fucking you know, knockout, um, stuff like that. He's opened up. He's about a $4 underdog. And, look, I just think he gets the job done. I talked to him on the phone the other day about a few things. Where He was over in Thailand in a fight camp, like proper dialed True. in, just fucking getting into his work. Like Quino is over, over here, <laughs> and um, and mate, I'm just keen to watch it. Like, there's so much on the line for him here. He's had a couple of rough sort of things happen in his career so mm. far when he's been at that point, and this yep. is a massive fight in the exact same arena yeah. as as the last one happened. So I reckon he'll be keen to Good right his wrongs and um, four bucks, mate. I'll be fucking getting on him, yeah. and I, I just that. hope. He can get the job done because he's put the work in, man, and he fucking deserves it. Yeah. Um, time to set things straight for him. Yeah, that's pretty Fuck cool. Yeah. That he's going back to the same joint. Yeah, you'd that's think right. old mate will be there, like fucking. Oh, you'd think so. I'd, I'd I just watched reckon... that again. That fucking knockout. Well, the non knockout the other day, and it's blatant. It's just cheating. Yeah, eh? it is, bro. It it's is just right cheating. at the end of the count. The mouth guard goes, and then it's another. Yeah, yeah. Just... But didn't you? Did you see him put it in backwards three times? Yeah, like... and mate, not to mention the weigh in. Wilson weighed in two kilos lighter on the scales when he was. He's dialed in. He's professional as fuck. He d- he weighed in two kilos lighter on the scales. He's going, what the fuck? And oh. Navarrete just made it in underweight. Oh. And that's what that Jennings, his manager now, is saying. I wasn't his manager at the time, but I can guarantee you none of that shit will yeah. be happening again. So that's what I mean. The poor bastard has been up against it. Because he's this Aussie fighter that probably isn't worldwide known at that stage. They think you can just him fuck over. him over mm. just to get a fight for Navarrete. So... This is his chance. I'm fucking so pumped for him, man. I know how hard he's been working, and I'm a huge fan. So yeah, I'll be fucking rooting for him on Saturday. Fuck and yeah. if he can get the win, mate, it's just onwards and upwards there in yeah. that division. Big fights now. Like he's done all the hard work in Australia with the domestic fights and that, and now she's fucking hook on. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, fuck. Yeah. Time to cash in. Yep. So and that. And that's just one of the two fights. We all know the other one, <clears throat> obviously, yeah. well-deserved as well, but Tim Zhu's been the face, yeah, made the face of Aussie boxing, that's obviously, right. yes. um, the last few years. And um, obviously some drama with Thurman pulling out, but Fundora has been has taken um, that spot. And now there's even more on the line for Timmy. There's two mm. belts on the line for him to win. Um, did you see the face-off? Mate, he just towered. Do you him. need this? I'm fucking like obviously oh. worried. Genuinely, like, mm. did you need a full camp for this tall lanky? I, I don't to prepare. Mate, Surely, I, I don't yeah. think so. Like, I genuinely think, you, like, you can be tall all you want, but have a go at the fucking giraffe frame on him. Like, yeah, you go. I, know, I just I know. go. I reckon this is what I reckon is going to happen. It'll take Tim two to three rounds to really Normally does, eh? figure him out. Look at the cut. Like, yeah. it'll figure him yeah. out how to get out of the crow peck from fucking six foot away, <laughs> literally. Literally six and a half <laughs> yeah. foot away from him. Oh. So it's like, I just reckon a couple of rounds, but then Zoo will just have that relentless pressure. And I just reckon. Having that amount of length to hit, the body shots he'll be ripping into that body big shot, tall yeah, frame. Sure, yeah. He'll just chop him down like an axe. And it's I kind reckon of just he'll finish the Be able to absorb those punches too, because it's you can't really take that reach out of place. So I, I just Tim think can you, absorb them. He should yeah, fight. I reckon the first cut like Tim's gonna get hit. Yeah. From yeah, that yeah, far yeah. out of fair bit. Yeah. But I reckon he'll just work in and I reckon about a mid round mid round stoppage, he'll just be relentless, hit the body, go up. Like yep. you saw what Everyone's probably watched the highlight now of um, what Brian did to the big tall lanky, yeah, yeah, Mendoza. Yeah. Mendoza, yeah. Fucking slept Yeah, in. that was a proper sleep. Oh, out. man, that was wild. He, like, hit him to keep him up. He baby giraffed the cunt. Yeah, he hit he... him once and then his legs were that and then you could see him just start to get oh. And he hit him again and it almost kept him up. Yeah. But was, knocked him out. It was pretty wild. <laughs> that was so crazy. So I just reckon um, a lot to adjust. He flew in a couple of tall lankies in his I fight saw camp. That. Um He's prepared for a southpaw like before. Yeah. It's not like and watching his interviews, he's that 
I think he's excited because he goes, the Thurman thing, he was just a showman, talked that much shit. He was like a bit of a clown where he goes, this one, I'm just that focused, ready to fucking fight. There's been no bullshit. Yeah. Let's go. Like yeah. It's like release this thing in him. And, yeah, both of the fights this weekend, I'm just so pumped for. Yeah, like two nice. Aussies hooking in, massive things on the line they for They should both. be – um. They should both, mm. like, Tim's will be on Sunday Av, but mm. it should be Saturday Av yeah. for Liam as well. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, depends right. where it is on what time yeah, it'll start. Yeah, I, I think I had a look on the bet naps before, and it's looking around that Arvo time. Like, it's not – I don't think it's going to be anything stupid, like, morning No, no, no. Or, it'll be Arvi, yeah. but whether it's, like, just depends where – on what side of the country it's on. Yeah, yeah. Saturday, Saturday, didn't you? Yeah, what time it'll be sort what of thing. time, yeah. yeah. Mm. But it should be, like, that same time that all those cards start. You know, yeah, 12 yeah. 12 o'clock around there, the yep. main card will start Early or something up, like that. But, fuck yeah, yeah, so what a weekend for Biffin. What an Easter fuck, weekend. Biffin. Fuck oh, yeah, man. Fuck yeah. You got the footy, <laughs> both codes. Yeah. You got the Biffin, massive things on the line. What the fuck more could you ask for? Yeah. And four days off. Yeah. Mm. Four well, days off. Tom, you. Yeah, I'll get four days yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, I think I'll be, I'll be yarning Monday. Fuck. True. Public holiday. He's going to work harder than both Fuck. of us. Fuck. <laughs> what a grub working a public holiday. <laughs> yeah, it's Double time? Hard. And no air con too. Like, oh, that's hey, what, boys. Some of you cunts have got it easy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. We do. Yeah. Right, uh, let's put the tips in. Let's. Uh, we'll put the lead, the rugby in. Actually, quickly, what do you think about those fights? What are you, what are you calling your tips uh, on those fights? Well, because I don't have a fucking clue who the Mexican is, mm. I'm tipping Liam Wilson. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just at the odds, after everything you said about mm. how hard he's been working, the yep. whole story of back at the same arena, mm. hopefully it's old mates fairy in the crowd. Tale, isn't it? And yep. Like that scales yeah. thing you just said, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. And just everything's yeah. fucking lined up for him to get his revenge. I think know? he wins by knockout purely to say, take that off me, cunt. Yeah. Pretty right much. I and think- then... Yeah, hope, I don't know. Can Tim win on points? I think Tim just cuts the big tall down with an axe yeah. about round six. Big liver reckon? shots. Yeah, I reckon he, wear, he he takes a couple of rounds to get inside, then he starts working on him, and then I reckon middle rounds to late rounds, he just fucking just pressures the cunt oh, into it. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. That's he'll, have to, anyway. he'll be yeah. working on with those other big tools yeah, how yeah. to get inside. And, yeah, and he'd right. know how to get inside. He's not like he's, he's a, a professional. He's not a massive... Yeah. Like, is he a big fucking super welterweight? I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah. Like for his for his weight division, he's probably not that tall, so mm. he's had to get inside fucking big cunts before. Mm. But, yeah. I don't know. I think I've got full faith in Tim, and I hope he does knock him the fuck out, but I think it'll probably be a, a big test. I'm just size. scared so about I'm going to say points. <laughs> How I'm long just gonna, it yeah. is. Tim will win. I'm confident he'll win. I'm going to say I'm points, so. though. I'm not well, – just yeah. the full camp thing's got me all fucked. I'm like, do you need mm. more than a full but camp But in saying that, that um, Big Tall hasn't had a full camp to fight Zoo either. Yeah, That's but right. he's the mm. bigger cunt. Mm. Anyway, doesn't matter. Fuck him. The Hopefully the fuckwit makes weight. Yeah, yeah. He's surely yeah, he's true. just been on the bloody, <laughs> on the rice cake. He looks <laughs> like he's been on the glass <laughs> Harley. Yeah, well, maybe that's how he makes weight. <laughs> yeah, good on him. <laughs> Hopefully we've got some good scales there. Right, The right scales. Um, yeah, that's that's what I'm going for. No doubt on Thursday when we do the punch show, there'll be a few fucking Biff and multi Oh, fuck. <laughs> there'll be just the all Aussie, yeah. On Hopefully punch. everyone's been following us because we went real well again on the weekend. Mm. Yeah. Not again, actually. We have been going all right, but last weekend was terrible. Tune in Thursday. That's punting, boys. Yeah. Righto. Yeah. Tips. Right. Um, now, because we've – I only just found out today that Cleary was out. Mm. So literally found out a few hours ago, hence why the Chooks are probably favourites to yes. win. Mm. Uh, big game. <coughs> it is a big game. game. Thursday night at fucking Allianz, a.k.a. <laughs> Get fucked, I'm not saying it, Dan. Uh, fuck, I've tipped Penrith, eh? Like, I've, mm. I've clicked Penrith on the thing, so I might, I'll probably Oof. stick with it. Who is playing half? 
Well, I'll tell you. Because they don't have color. Brad, Brad Schneider. Schneider. Jace, do you remember he the for white? Raiders, yep. Do you yeah. remember the white headgear I gun do. that yeah. played for the milk? Yep. Penrith has snapped him up. I had a look before the game at Graper and I said, get fucked. I actually rate this dude. So did I. I actually my uncle's a Raiders supporter and I said to him at the start of the year, where the fuck is that bloke with white headgear? And it ended up I wasn't talking about Croker, well, I was talking is. about Schneider. Mate, you gotta whoever is at the Panthers, oh. like someone leave, someone has the potential to leave. Brad Schneider who who, like I said, I rated when I watched him. I'm like, of course we've snabbled him. Yeah. Fucking this is a tough good. one because that is good. As <clears> well <throat> as Penrith played last week, Cleary fucking killed. Oh, us. he was good. Mm. He Fuck was he the was reason good. for that big. I reckon he was the reason for the pumping. Yeah. So it's like you're tough because now he's out. Are Penrith going to drop a bit? They're not as good as they've been yeah, purely off the back of Cleary. Cleary's back for the Roosters too. True, that was a quick turnaround. I thought you'd be out for a while. Fucking the head knocks. Tom's boy Romy there at five eight. Yeah, you know? he's He'll shit be with him. How is he <laughs> my boy Romy? <laughs> <laughs> I just like to know how he's him. my boy. He is your boy. Yeah, I... me and Romy have heaps in common. Uh... <laughs> Anime, video games, New South Wales, <laughs> Penrith. That's yeah. all you need. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That now he's my boy. Anime. Uh, oh. <laughs> he does Dragon Ball Z shit. <laughs> he grow does up. Do yeah. That. Boy, Romy. I'm grow going. Uh, <laughs> I'm going Roosters. Right. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna stick with Penrith. Just I yeah. don't know. You've talked this Schneider cunt up too much now. Oh, yeah, he's like solid. Him. But I just think if Roosters. Didn't absolutely annihilate the bunnies the way they did last week. Yeah, but, but going into the next tip, I think the rabbits are just shit and the bulldogs beat them. I do, yeah. Mm. I I've tipped the dogs as well, but I'm I'm almost tipping them because I'm just going to say, right, I'm not going to tip the rabbits until they win. Again. Yeah, I'm tipping them to say, mm. show me that you're not just toxic as fuck yeah. and your club is going under a big. Like sink yeah. hole. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think they will win. I don't think they'll put a great performance on, but you going the rabbits. I'm going the rabbits. Jace is probably on the money here with those two, but I don't care. Yeah. I'm going. <laughs> yeah. No, he's making a great point. I don't think Bunny's gonna come out and be like, We're back now. We've they just pumped win, the doggies. Though. I think they'll win like fucking they sixteen, win. twelve or something like I that. I still just don't know back to the last one. I still don't mm. know if the roosters are the fucking real deal. I oh, know it sounds dumb to, to say. Anyone. Forty-eight six against a team that's supposed to be good, but with no Luke Keary either. Oh, no. it's, like Engar- it's like the Engar. It's like the Engarno Fury thing. <laughs> is it's like were is yeah. you know <laughs> were they good Fury or are the just rabbits shit. just absolute dog shit? Yeah, mm. yeah. So anyway, so, I'll keep it. And so yeah, one I'm of us gonna, will get it right. Yeah, we'll, we'll be on to. <laughs> yeah, either sixty-six percent or thirty-three percent of us will get it right. <laughs> that's mm. right. <laughs> Right, uh, Bronx next. cows Friday night. Yeah, this is starting to become a bit of a Good Friday special. Tip. Special again. It's been Mate, it's happened before. I'll tell you what. If you you live in Brisbane, you got the Lions and the Pies Grand Final rematch Thursday night, yep. and then you got the Bronx and the Cowboys on Good Friday. Like, yeah, fucking that, stop uh, it. that sounds like a great weekend of sport. In uh, one thing that I I. Wish I was in a city for sometimes. The only thing, pretty much, is that, those yeah. sort of sporting events. In the cricket, it'd be shit. fucking cool to be able to just rock up. Be like, oh, do you want to go to the footy? Yeah, yeah. yeah not have yeah. to go seven hour drive and book accommodation yeah. and, and be absolutely like... bent over by Qantas mm. every time. Oh, Unless yeah. you want to drive, which I'm never doing again. So. Mm. Well, you get heaps of service on the roads. Yeah, it's so true. Drive, you can work. Yeah. You go on the cows. It's almost like <laughs> you're fucking. If honestly, if Renault wasn't named, it would have been hard. Hard for me to see yeah. us winning, but the yeah. fact that he's been named, I'm going to go right. Oh, Derby at Suncorp. Mm. The the loss of Haas is shit, huge. obviously. Yeah. Um, but oh. I think Walsh is a huge. Walsh, Walsh is huge. Is yeah, but Sailor's huge. good. That's exactly Sailor's right. good. That's what I mean. It's just the Haas for me now because Sailor can definitely. He doesn't play like Walsh. He can does a job, still, but. yeah, fill in and look. Fucking light up the game a bit, not the way while she can. Yeah, but Has that the is probably our two. Fuck yeah! In terms of one to thirteen, if you pick the best replacement, it's Tristan Saylor. Like he's our best reserves player, I think. Yeah, could I'm, easily walk into a fucking fullback jersey I and some other teams. Can't believe we've still got him. That's for that yeah. reason. Because he fucking walk up start in a couple of teams. That's right. Mm. So look. Jaden Hunt running on in the second row. Pierre Cura. Not ideal. Oates is playing 17, so it's just I think it's, that it's is, weird. 
But perfect that they've brought Oates in now because is it he, his two hundredth? Oh, could be. I think it is. We have they decided it. now that he is a second rower? Oh fuck! I think we don't have a choice. If you look backs at, against the wall, fucking yeah. this is how where we love it. Tough. I think it's perfect because especially last week it showed that when while she went off and you had Cobo go to fullback, we had a second rower playing centre, mm. and we were like, "Fuck me!" If we didn't have Sailor or Oates on the bench or something who can fill in those kind of positions, Oates he can play second row, he can play wing, yeah, he probably could play centre, so he can cover a lot of positions, which I think we need. On our bench. Oh, while we're on the wing thing, uh-huh. totally off topic, but just my thing with wingers, go and watch the first try against the Warriors and just the dead set winger. <laughs> oh. It just sums up wingers. He just flies <laughs> in from fucking 50 out, misses every cunt, and they score on the wing. Yep. It's just like that is dead set. Just the That no. should be awarded to that cunt, <laughs> that try. <laughs> anyway. No, nah, he's played shit. 201 games. Has he? Know. It, I might don't know. Be a try thing. it might be a try thing. It's hundred. He's got 118 tries. Oh, so it's nothing to do with the try thing. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, right. right. I don't know. Well, so the game's fuck all for Oatsy, but he's 17. Coming yeah, he's playing 17. He will be playing. Uh, Coming on a truck nut. He is. <laughs> well, you think. Oh, you're down there so. swapping a winger out. I fucking hope. Well. Don't say that. Yeah, right. D- you don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> because if he ha- does have to come on for anyone in the back line, I'm going to fucking be that pissed off. Yeah, me too. Because it means someone's injured. So anyway, hopefully he's coming on as a pig or something. <laughs> so both of you are going seed. Brizzy. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yep. I'm, yep. Going, oh, yeah. I'm going Jess, Cowboys. Corey Ooh. Jensen, Fletcher Baker, Jaden Hunt. That's you got to remember, we're at the cauldron the of is it old. Though? Is it now? Yeah, the <laughs> oh. cauldron of old. <laughs> yeah, Why the old day cauldron. Luckily, that fucking Tamalolo isn't playing that good. <laughs> and then they got Jordan oh, McLean. Man. He's solid as fuck. Um, and then they don't have Lukey. They've got that. Fina, Can you please Fina pronounce Fuiaki. the eleven's name for me? Finafuiaki. No, the first one as well. Kula Kefu. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's a piece of piss. Yep. <laughs> that just fucked just my head it. looking at it. Killer Kefu, Finifu Yaki. Yeah, I don't of know course. If that's how you say it. Yeah. But yeah, I've, no. tried, I've tried Kilu. Cooley, I mean. Cotter has been named despite he had a. Yeah, he's meant to be out too. So. Injury, so I wouldn't be surprised if he gets pushed out late. Look, we'll get it done. We'll get I it hope done he does. And I hope Jake Granville comes in. We'll get, how the yeah. fuck is. We'll get if, he, he if won't Selwyn, stop. If Selwyn can play like he did against the Rabbits and we just get him early ball, we'll be mm. right. And Tristan will have I, a big game. I reckon Jakey Granville will be a great bloke to get on the piss with. I just think he's he just that, he just he played fucking front row. Remember last year? <laughs> and he's played, front row. He was yeah. a hooker and he just stepped and he's up. Played and played fullback. Prop. He's played literally every position ever. I what think. a fucking legend. You know How many else? other cunts have played fullback and fucking front row? That's nuts, eh? That is crazy. <laughs> He's Someone else from it. the cows would be fun. Val Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Any yeah. reason for that? Who would not? Nah, <laughs> just seems like a good cunt. Yeah. <coughs> Kicks he, goals. he actually does, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> brings the Omo. What about <laughs> what about the drags and the eags, boys? Oh yeah. Four thirty Saturday. The Eagles. <laughs> yeah, mainly a winner. Eagles. I like a to any time. <laughs> yeah. Turbo any time. Ola Kuatu over Flanagan, maybe. Mm. I mean, Flano does put some big hits on that. Oh, he does. <laughs> He's a chop. He's a solid defender. Um, also, this to me, now fucking just pull me right up here if I'm wrong, but the punch show may feature this team in some multis because a uh. dollar seventy for the top for the fucking Dolphins cunt. Are you serious? That's wild. That is wild. <laughs> I must be missing something there. Are you kidding? A no Tino, no for feeder. Like Jaden Campbell's back, but what is he? Twenty points is he on his own? After no. they absolutely smashed the Dragons, who smashed and the Titans? Titans, yeah. <laughs> Finn's coming off the bye. You're like what the fuck? I... Well, they clearly the tippers have heavily backed the Finns in ninety three percent. So is Jaden Campbell just a fuck the be all? I might just dump bad. my <laughs> savings on that now. <laughs> Or 15 Anyway, units. look, we could be well off the mark here, but fuck me, that I'm looks going good. Fins, Imagine if you just went fins head to head across all three categories in the betting. Just That's what I mean, put all 15 <laughs> ins on. All 15. Uh, so, yeah, yeah I'm going fins. the fins. Yeah, me too. Fuck yeah. yeah. 
Uh, Wars and the Knights. Now, this is a harder game I, than it looks. This is fucking crazy that it's 90% have tipped the Warriors on mm. the app here. I will be also, but I think it's much tighter than that. Yeah. I think if it was literally played in Newcastle, I'd probably probably be Newcastle. reversed. Eh? Yeah, it'd be reversed. Home ground advantage is just huge when it comes to the Wars. So mm. I, yeah, I'm tipping the Wars. Knights is just one of those teams I feel like can just turn up and fuck you over. Same as the next uh, game with Raiders always seem to turn it on when I you don't look at tip that them. team. That Knights team, and it is good. Mm. One to thirteen is Across prime, the board, except yeah. six and seven. You're like, okay, you could improve there. You got Gamble and Cogger, you know. Yeah. You I've, just had one sort of bigger name. Other like, you Pollard. look at the other side, you got Johnson and Metcalf. Yeah. Johnson's your star. Yeah. Metcalf is feeding off him at the moment, he which is, is killing it. Yeah. fucking really good to see. Mm. Anyway. Are, um, we all, are we all the bros there? Look, yep. fuck, it's hard because you Knights can get this roll on, as we've seen. Yeah. Is that the little kick they needed to just turn it on? Um, can they play 80 minutes of good for We've got to remember the and... storm they played too. Exactly. Like, yeah, no yeah, 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 yeah. Down there, but and just beat no, it him. wasn't. It was a McDonald's. Mm. Yeah, look, I'll I'll give the Wars another chance over there. Yeah. I think coming off the back of um, that win against Canberra, the way they came back there and just piled on, I yeah. don't know. I think that'll uh, take a lot of momentum into this week. Uh, what about the next one? It seems it I, would have been clear cut until last week. I already yeah. think that this is going to backfire on me, but I'm going the milk. Are I you feel like the milk are gritty? And I just feel like they they will get the job done. Oh, they but turn, they do turn up and just dig the heels in, don't they? Yeah, but I feel like the sharks will probably get the biggest ass kicking, and they're probably mm. embarrassed as fuck, and they'll probably put sixty on the Raiders. Big but for some reason, game. for some reason, I'm just tipping the Raiders. Yeah, yeah, righto. I'm going flat track bullies. Yeah, but like, yeah, fuck. Because besides a few errors last week, Canberra were not that bad. Yeah, they, but I. I don't know. I think Sharks have to bounce back. But their after fucking last week. pack is so shit compared to Raiders. The Raiders pack is probably the best in the comp. It's at the so moment. fucking good, man. And up against so much depth. Too. Up against big Tommy Hazelton. Yeah, well, is Royce Hunt still out because of his calf? Yep, he's not named. Yep. Fucking Nick Nickura's not named. That's a big Britain, one to yeah. be out. That's Britain. massive, man. You he, got he's McKinnis. one of those second rowers, Nakura, where. He doesn't even have to get the ball, but because he's such a good line runner, it holds that defence up, which creates space. Yeah, yeah. Outside. that's good shape. So Hazelton, mm-hmm. Oregon Kafusi, Sia Sophia, Sophia, Sia Sifa, sorry, Sia Sifa Talakai. Could have just said Talakai. Is he in yeah. the second row? Playing at 11. Yeah, right. On. True. Teague Wilton, Big and then Teague. McGinnis is playing lock. And yeah. then, like, I don't know, on the bench you got fucking Atkinson, Jack Williams, Billy Burns, and fucking Hold Tapua. Mm. Hold like, the Pua. <laughs> Hold, Hold your Pua. We're nearly <laughs> there, bros. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. And then you just fucking Zach Hosking's on the bench for the Raiders. Fuck it, I'm going the milk too. Up the milk. Fogarty's Oof. playing well. Strange has been a bit strange, but, you know. What a name. Ethan Strange Cunt. Strange. Um, Ethan Normal. <laughs> oh, I'm worried I'm going to fucking regret going the Sharks, eh? Hey? Anyway, I've just tried to talk everyone into the Raiders, so <laughs> well, get on the Sharks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, oh, this should be clear cut, and I am going to tip the Eels. Yeah, me too. I can't but I'd not. fucking love to get that tip wrong, is me all too. I'll I say there. Me I too. love watching Paris <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Who's yeah. playing halfback instead? Um, I did My look at this before. Load. It is. Neither will mine. Is, oh, has he got any other sons? Blaise Lungy's playing no. six. Yeah, right. And then and Dylan Brown's playing half. And then Arthur's coming through the ranks that he was going to throw in. Yeah. Can they? Who? has this? Is that the fellow who filled in at the end of last year as well? Or when um, Moses done his fucking whatever he did? Can I remember? I can do some fake news and just say yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do, do that. It. Yep, it was. Blaze. <laughs> Fuck yeah, blazing. Blazing. He scored a fucking great try. That Galvin and Caesar combination was fucking good last it week, was. wasn't it? Galvin killed it. Unreal for the Tigs. <clears throat> Buller scored a couple of tries. They just fucking deserved that so much last week, the old Tigs. Yeah. I was pumped for them. No one was sad to see him win besides Shark fans, I think. Yeah. And uh, you got... um. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
this bloke was. Oh, yeah. Because of his punches. Punches. mouthy. Yeah, punches. Well, out of all the legs, that was just like a right home, like, oh, fuck. All the sharks got to do is beat them head to head. Nana got raped. <laughs> Not just beaten. <coughs> raped. Uh, Cartwright's meant to be injured too, but he's been named. Yeah, uh, right. Fucks me. What's a lot going of on? um, know, day to days, maybe. Look at this. There's a lot of injured players K- been named. Campbell Gillard versus Utakamanu. Mm. Fucking Joey Lusick, Coruscant. Junior Paulo, Paulo, David Clemmer, Sean Lane, Isaiah Papali'i, Bryce Cartwright, John Bateman, Jermaine Hopgood, Fanua Pohl. That's almost like <laughs> three years ago. That Tigers forward pack is insane. Yeah. But right, like what's happened to Papali'i, even, man? He's yeah, just sort of they proved last year. He's at the Tigers, it's... man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what. Where yeah. was he good at the Eels? Yes, yeah. the Eels are pretty good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. But the, um, making a good <coughs> final. Well, I've got time. a. I don't know if it's because I'm biased because he was at Panthers for a fair while and a big part of it. But Appy Coruscant, I fucking rate him so. Yeah. Highly. Build your fucking team around so, Appy. Mate, at that, Tigers, what's man. the highlights of the first half of mm. that game? He tore them to shreds. Like he's yep. so crafty around that hooker. It's that like that big forward moves too fast out of out of marker. Bang! He's underneath the cunts. He ducks underneath. Fuckers, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Gets that offload like everyone's saying. Don't worry about Cook and Robson. He's gonna play fucking hooker for New South Wales. I think he will. Mate, too. I hope he doesn't because yeah. he's a gun. Yeah, like he's that dude who every time you fucking slightly fuck up, bang, he drills you. Yeah, his vision is spot on. Mm. And uh, I'm tipping the Storm in the last game. Oh, I think they'll. That's a lock. They'll get the buy. I was going to say, where the fuck did I'm? <laughs> I've already moved on to the AFL. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck me. yeah. Right, a bit of variety. <laughs> Well, you, I've kind of gone against this a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I reckon <clears throat> there's some good variety there. Right um, AFL tips. Righto, let's go. Thursday night, Lions Collingwood. Yes, uh, at the Gabba, as we mentioned. At I'm the going Lions. I'm going the Lions. Yeah, first time I don't go the dog's eyes, they'll win. Yeah. So I'll go the it's Lions a mu- They have to win. It's like <clears throat> you, have to, it's, there's, you have to win and then there's this, and I just don't think they can. Yeah, I don't think they're good enough. I think it's a you both have to win, but the lines are you have to win. You're at the Gabba. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That is purely what I'm going off. Exactly, Gabba lines and a week off as well. Maybe they've uh, fags have sat them down and said, "What the fuck?" Yeah. Uh, Friday night, Carlton versus North Melbourne. Be a ripper, eh? Mm, Should be a beauty. (laughs) How the fuck did North get a Friday night slot, man? I don't know. Are you kidding? Alistair Clark. Oh, what's well, Friday of? It's uh, oh, it is, it three, is, it is. Sorry, it, Good Friday. Oh, I apologise. Good Friday. To the schedulers, of the <laughs> AFL there. Or oh, is there any? Is there any teams like you know the NRL? There, the Tigs do the Sharks. On paper, that should not have happened. Like, should not have happened. Is there any way that this could do the same thing? Like, no. any of these teams could do that in the AFL at the moment? No. Uh, oh, North t- cannot be St Carl. Kilda did it to fucking Collingwood but. Yeah but the Saints are going to make the 8 Yeah uh, I know You're I talking, think there's, you're I, talking, I'm talking like, like Hawthorne like, type Yeah yeah like is there Now they're the they're... team who could do it <laughs> <laughs> So it's like No I actually agree Hawthorne's team could do it North Melbourne and West Coast pretty much They're pretty yeah. much the two that can't They, just they can't. actually <laughs> they just can't. simply can't yeah. It's not like yeah. they can be at their home ground Like the Tigs Somehow just win yeah. They no. just can't no Maybe way. Maybe North this year Because they've got like they've showed at the start of the they've year, they've showed just a can't. little bit of something. Yeah, right. But West Coast have shown offered nothing. <laughs> yeah, so. right. But no, no good. Carlton. I was just who's the there's one percent of tip. Yeah, that's North. all the cunts like Jason myself who <laughs> just tip their team. Yeah, literally <laughs> <laughs> stupid cunts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's right. Stupid cunts who are. won't win tipping cops. <laughs> no. I probably won't either. Yeah. But, hey, got uh, a point last <laughs> week. Yeah, I think we're all on board with uh, Carlton. The man. Blues. We spent too much time on that for how simple it is. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Um, after that, at Optus Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> Friday night in Frio. Yes. So this will actually be, it'll be about a 4.30 start for them over there. It will. Because it's 6.30 it start here. So it'll be a day game. And it's, you know what, boys? She's a a not tough. such a long Ooh. way from Adelaide. It's mm. not it's such like a long quite way. short. Look, actually. I'll be with the eleven percent here. I reckon the boys get it done. I reckon they just steam forward and kick goals. Now, fuck! Ah. I've put both of these 
teams in the eight. I think I have anyway. Yeah, I can't remember. Definitely I, put I definitely put Frio. I remember that. And I, I, I want to tip Frio because, you know, fights back and they're Ooh. up and about. Yeah. But yeah. I've also, I'm like, fuck, the Crows have almost sort of got to win this. Crows you know? sort of do have to win it, but I'm purely basing it off. You sort of reckon they won't. <laughs> 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 I sort of reckon they won't because Frio fucking beat Brisbane. At home in round one. That's which right. Which is kind of all I'm going off here because you beat North Melbourne. Congrats to you. That means fuck all. Yeah, after you're getting hammered. Yeah. Too. But I'm going to oh. go Frio here. Yeah, look, I'll go Frio as well. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to have to go. You fucking over steered there. me into that. You're going to be with me. You you're going to have to back them every fucking round if you want to live up to your top eight prediction. <laughs> oh, the cr- yeah, after this, yeah. yeah. No, um, they'll, they'll sneak into eight. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, if you get that right, that is one of the great. I don't think many other people would have fucking picked that. Rio, give them the old heave ho. Hey. <laughs> Um, they got the worst. They honestly have the worst song out of so all bad. eighteen teams. It it's is so, so fucking, fucking shit. It took a long time for the AFL when they started bringing in new teams, like nineties onwards, to have a fucking good team song, and they finally nailed it with GWS. They nailed that GWS song. It's is good eh? outside of the cats. It is so fucking good. Man. Yeah, like it's yeah, on my yeah, own yeah, team. I yeah. love that song. Anyway, Frio's is shit. Um, this is terrible. <laughs> Saturday Arv at Marvel, we got Essendon versus St. Kilda. I reckon this one, like, I'm going to tip the Saints. Yep. Because they've beaten the fucking reigning Premier. Yep. But Essendon fucking served it up to Sydney for three and a half quarters. They did. That and is Sydney are on game. fire. Mm. So it's at that'll Sydney be a well. cracker of a game, man. Saturday Arv. Quite close. I'm, I'm on the Saints. I'm on Essendon. Nice, Ooh. nice. Right, um, I'll be going St Kilda, I think, purely back off last week. You don't beat the reigning premiers if you're not the real deal. Yeah, You'd, you wouldn't think so. No. I'm now, tipping them purely off what Groper just said at the start of that. So With the Sydney thing. Yeah, yeah. nice. That's good. Great. <laughs> I'd, I want to know in this next one, Port v Melbourne, if mm-hmm. Jake Lee is playing. Because Stephen May's out, isn't he? Stephen May's definitely out for at least like one or two weeks. He got taken to the fucking ambulance. After right, that. So is Jake Lever playing? I think either way, I'm tipping Port at the Adelaide Oval. Mm. But Oof. like those two being out is massive. If That's they're both huge. out, can someone tell us if we get a team list for this? I'll like, check. I don't know if he or is it did the it day this before early or in what? The week, but like it said when I checked the AFL app last week, it said Taylor Walker injured. Like to be decided when he's back, and he fucking played. Yeah. So well, they decided. Yeah, they decided <laughs> he's gonna play. Well, um, that, now I don't a know. real riveter. What are you going? I'm gonna stick with the D's. Really? Yeah. Port Adelaide. No tough. key defenders. After I said that Adelaide is so fucking tough to win at, but I think they will. Defense I think wins D's are, premierships. D's are the real deal, man. Defense I honestly wins premierships. It does, but no I, Stephen or Jake. No, know. that's all right. They'll, well, they'll they, win now. The two best defenders. I don't know. Yeah, I still think D's Good game. have showed so Good far game. that they are the real deal. And then, yeah, Sunday kicks off with a ripper. Mm, no chance of West Coast. 12 so. o'clock start. I'll probably that's rough. That's that. fucked. That's like playing under 12s. Footy. Oh, it's at Marvel. So they'll, yeah. they'll close the roof. Oh, true. They'll close the roof. All right, relax, relax. Dogs. <laughs> Dogs are winning. Dogs, yes. Is it just a freebie? The poor old Eagles, man. How are they going to get a win? Imagine if we've said this, nah, there's just no chance. So like West Coast and fucking... Coming to Melbourne too. Yeah, West like Coast and North. Literally no, no chance. So go and put yourself on a multi, West Coast and <laughs> fucking the other team. North. In the North. Yeah. North into Both West Coast. Can you imagine, man? Fucking hell. I'm probably um, going to that now. now I am going to tip Sydney in the, the Richmond Sydney no, game. Yes, Sydney uh, are probably the best looking team in the comp. They after are the start. Richmond haven't played a bad game yet, though, except With for that very... first half against the Gold Coast where yeah, they were terrible. That was true. But then they did, you know, come back and fight up. They haven't played a bad one. They have like so, a few decent injuries as well, so mm. they're actually doing all right with a new coach. Mm. But I still think Sydney is just way too good. Yeah. And then the, the traditional Easter Monday clash, yes. Tommy. This has been going on for years now. Hawthorne played Geelong every Easter Monday. Mm. It used to be an absolute fucking rip-up. Oh, for 10 they, years there. They were just 
so good. Both yeah, teams both of them. were just top four teams and now every it'll just year. be a fucking raping. <laughs> Probably. Yep. Yeah. We went head-to-head for so many years in finals, Amir. Now so you're going head-to-ass. <laughs> Monday. <laughs> hard. Um, now, this is hard because <clears throat> I wrote, like, off form, 100%. You can't tip Hawthorne against Geelong, oh, right? right? No. Here he goes. And then I've gone. Mm. The only I said I can, I'm only reason I'm tipping him is because it's his team. And then I went, hang on, Penrith's Tom's team anyway. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, the morals oh, are changing. So right. I want to fucking. He's getting it mixed up. I, like he's in his own head. We can't. <laughs> I feel like you hate Geelong more than you hate Penrith. Oh though. fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. exactly what I so meant you're by like, saying it. Fuck Geelong. Yeah. Even yeah. after last, if year. if it was any other team, maybe Essendon. Actually, I'd tip Hawthorne yeah. every time, yeah. every day. Well, I 100 percent. Agree with that you hate cats because I hate Collingwood and I also hate cats. Oh. I just um there's just it feels like there's no way that we can win this. After watching after much when you watch either. the two games, you just go, How the fuck were we so bad? North might have beaten us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. We were but you so still have that potential to play like don't be surprised if it's, you play a good quarter of footy in this game and then <laughs> we pile it on. Yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. But Hopefully so it's that the means nothing, cut. but yeah. Because you never know. If you have a good first quarter, all of a sudden you just play better than what you are. Mm, that's true. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. So, I'd yeah. like to see one of these fucking games played at Kidding, yeah. Oi, Always played the G. Nev- will never happen. I don't it know never why, will because of tickets. I don't know still. what's popped into my head just now, but... On the piss on Saturday night, Pedro was saying that one of his mates in the Cowboys game, right, mm. said that when they were down 18-4, rang up, put a bet on Cowboys to win 13+. plus. I don't know why that just True. popped in then and then reckons he's just won it. And it's like, how good is that to hear? Yeah. One of the boys wow. just going, I reckon this is going to happen. Yeah. Oh, I wonder on. what the odds were. Surely they were fuck all still. No, I mean, they were pretty good. 18-4. Yeah, it's... Yeah. It's difficult with the game when they're like versing a shit team, even then when they're getting pumped. Mm. The bookies know, mm, yeah, mm, you know. But anyway, that's totally random shit for you. Yeah, no, that's great <laughs> So I am going. I said they can have one more chance last week, just because it's Geelong. I've got to tip Hawthorne. Yeah, right. <laughs> I go. respect the pride, and I, I just, respect it. I honestly, I just. So he's still got a bit of Reggie about him, boys. See us fucking bit. winning, but. Oi, if we do, you will hear Was about this, it. Is oh, this, it's gonna be... is this, you reckon, did, have they done this to you? Who? All the noise from the RLC. Fucking Do you reckon please. they've got to you and that's why you've gone against them? Please, like, I just told you. No, that's fine, legs. that's fine. I, was I just, just told you that. we can't win. Yeah, but, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to go for the old um, Greg Miles race caller. Yeah. He called a race one time yeah. and he said, um, oh, fuck me, what was the horse's name? You're joking. I have no idea. A weird name for a horse. Oh, he won the Cox Plate three times. Anyway, Winks. he's gone. No. <laughs> Greg Miles retired before that. Uh-huh. But he goes, in the call, he goes, such and such can't win. And then it won. Like, oh, he was, yeah, that, yeah. He was fucked. So you're steering him into he's you're doing the curse. Can't win. Mm. They cannot win. The, the griper horse. curse. Yeah. No, good stuff. Righto. Righto, that's the tips. Good stuff, boys. Tips. Righto. We'll go the uh, squeeze of the week, eh? We've sort of fucking hinted who it'll be. Um, I've got one more nomination when yep. we get into it. But mm-hmm. this segment's brought to you by uh, our big supporters down at the Standard Squeeze, boys. Probably um, didn't do the new product much justice no, last week. No. We, <laughs> look, we fucked that up. But hey. We just talked about how much we love it. Oh, but got, here's a bit more detail We've got them now. Yeah, So yeah. it's all That's good. Right. Yeah. Um, the hydrate. Hopefully people jumped on it, even though, you know, it was a bit of a piss. Oh, I did see in the RLC us. someone did already get this. Dual wall vacuum sealed design of the water bottle means that you'll hold cold water for up to 24 hours and hot water for up to 12. Can confirm the 24 hour. It's longer than that, but they've said that because that's the definite. Yeah, as you do. Right, oh. Yeah, yeah. So, like weight ratings um, and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Made from uh, high quality 18 over 8 stainless steel, and they include three separate lid styles, boys. So you got the carry handle, you got the chug lid for when you're chugging, mm, and oh then the yeah. straw lid to put the straw in and keep all the fucking That's cool fucking A grade. If you use that, just let me say, <laughs> yeah. don't use a fucking straw. <laughs> <laughs> or if you do, gulp. make sure it's a paper one, not a plastic one, or just, just to really piss And Tom if you off. get caught, just say, oh, it's for the missus, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's just another good item from Fuck the squeeze yeah. it's team, It's a great mate. item. Just, they just fucking keep coming. Name a shit them, so. item that they do. You can't. You just yeah. can't. Like I said, 
It's uh, like I said last week, game changer when you're fishing because there's none of fucking these nice, that's right. t- fucking 10 water bottles in the esky because you've got three cunts right. fishing and you need water. One thing in the corner, that's it. Keep, keeps, it keeps voice. your drink away from the fish too in the esky. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're not fucking having a slurp on a bit of fucking <laughs> fish blood. To keep it simple, it's fucking big, it's versatile, and it keeps it cold. That's mm. right. What more do you want me to fucking say? There's a 1.9 litre and then there's the big boy 3.8 mm. litre. So yeah. just go and the, check it out. Get the big boy. Plus, Standardsqueeze.com, use the code Reggie15 for 15% off at checkout. Plus, if you haven't given, like, went and got a standard squeeze yet in any size, just stop what you're doing for a sec, pull over if you're driving, and just give yourself a big hard uppercut because they're a fucking great bit of kit. And then go buy some. But now yeah. you'll save yourself shipping because it'll be over the free shipping amount. Yeah, put both in. And now you can get both. Yeah. So you've just done well, the whole actually. Fucking kit. So, yeah, stitch yeah. yourself up from the uppercut That's and fucking go and to just, the standardsqueeze.com. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, uh, Dan Ganane, was it him? It was 100% him, eh? Before we yeah. go skipping in the squeeze, <laughs> was it him, Jace? <laughs> yes, we can listen back. Beautiful. No, can... no, I'm, I'm fucking. I know you do. It your was research, him. mate. It so. was him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then heaps of that. I have one more <clears throat> nomination. Oh, one more. No. Um, and this is because because I am me. Are <laughs> I'm, you? I'm doing you this. Go. I'm doing this for the Reggies. There you go. For last week. Tipping against me, team. Oh, Ooh. I'll put. I'll throw my hat in the ring and cop it. But did I get the tip right? Yes. Were we no chance? Yes. <laughs> so did I want them to win? Still, fuck yes. I don't know. Can I ain't saying the cauldron? Yeah, he, I, he gets that, and he'd Broncos... know. I reckon he'd know. He would know one hundred percent that that was silly. He'd have what to. He said. Well, so he's he, about to. I reckon he'll cop the squeeze and right. he'll he'll accept it. Yeah. So speaking agree. of giving yourself an uppercut. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Give yourself a swift one. If yeah. um, Bronx had have won again, I probably would have nominated you myself. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure you got given squeeze last year. Yeah, for that. For this exact thing, but yeah. Bronx won. So I'm happy to let it slide. The smart tip paid off. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's nominated himself. Oh, yeah. I don't, in the mix. That's right. I'm not happy about it. That's the no, thing. No, yeah. It's bit, you know? very bittersweet because you're a point I'm ahead of happy. me in the tipping. I'm not happy that's that right. we fucking lost. No. Yeah. But anyway, that's what I did that for you, Reggie, because you just fucking yeah. give me a shellac. Took his licks and moved on. <laughs> and, he did, and he went opposite of what he did last week to Hawthorne this week because you've pressured him into it. Mm. Have, a, have they? <laughs> <laughs> Right, uh, uh, <laughs> speaking of moving on and uppercuts, <laughs> <laughs> we got sparring them, mate. <laughs> uh, what about the CTC, mate? Yeah, mate, head to the country companies. The massive support of, of us at CTC there, mate. The best dome covers in the land at CTC. All the knuckles designs, the country companies, go and check them out. There's fucking beauties. Pretty much every trade that is there. He's got a great hat for that trade with the slogans and funny sayings around it. There's yeah. so many fucking hats he's got there. He's are... been putting up a few um, videos lately oh, of, yeah. like, the new ones. Yeah. And he's like, oh, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. Go give the legend a follow on the socials. He's always a good laugh. And um, head to countrytruckercaps.com if you want to design your very own for fucking whatever you're doing, whether it be – Sports, um, you know. Yeah, whatever. whatever. Go for it. Whatever you're doing. Do so, who have we got as the captain this week, boys? <laughs> I literally just looked at you. Just before went. we started, we went, Oi, so we don't go, hmm, <laughs> who should be the captain? And what are we doing? I think my suggestion was, did Elise Perry do anything good? No, she, she didn't. Someone did post something <laughs> there off Fuck. the back of that. Oh, I reckon I've got one. Oh, we did come one. Tigers. We, we did come one. We did come one. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, want to, I one. want to give it to everyone on the Wayne Pierce Hill. Yeah. Well, I'm I wanted fucking... to give it to the board of security that released the jerseys. Oh, Ooh, yeah. That are on their way to our fucking doorstep. They were in Brizzy on <clears> Monday. <throat> mm. Got a bill. Mm. Fucking big cunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to pay so the waddled c- to me wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Customs would release them, paid it Monday, and I reckon as this comes out, they are on our on their way to the warehouse. Oh, so, yeah. mate. So, stop it. And that's a good little segue to say that 
Yeah, they are coming. They're and here. when they where yeah, they'll, they'll be here. They're in the nation. And when they're here, we're not going to fuck around. You know, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna pretty much get our shit sorted. You know, do a couple of things, wear them ourselves for an episode or two, and yeah. they should be on sale. But I'm so I haven't been this pumped for something. I know you're supposed to say that to sell shit. Yeah. But coming into winter, the footy season's well and truly underway. I will have this cunt glued on me for a lot of winter. Tom's been saying for weeks, he's like, look, obviously it'd be nice to sell them, but I just want one. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) This is more personal I can't wait to have one. Like that uh, Penrith old school vintage jersey that I got, I just really love the material of it and how it feels. Yeah. And this is the same thing. You've got three quarter quarter length sleeve, the material that it is, the look of it. The Reggies. It it's probably yeah. is the most rugby league jersey ever. It is. If that makes sense. <laughs> it is. It is rugby league. And speaking of the two fucking sponsors that we just mentioned, mm. shout out to them because they are on the jersey. Yep. Uh, Standard Squeeze and CTC. And uh, there's a sort of a number on the back. Mate, Wait till you mm, see what number it is. Fucking <laughs> oath. The squeeze has just entered into the... F- yeah, it, <laughs> Without it's even stuff. trying. <laughs> Without trying, but so excited about these things. Yeah. I can't wait for you guys to see them because, like I said, I will have this fucking thing glued on me. Yeah. If you're watching on YouTube, look at what I'm holding right now and read between the lines and what's going to be in the back. Yeah, yeah. every Reggie's going to be up front. <laughs> so, <laughs> Trucking. Yeah, it's good stuff. And on that note too... Um, baggy Regis. We've still got Baggy Regis. If you haven't got one and you're a Reggie supporter, that is what – like nothing will pair better than a Baggy Reg and a fucking jersey. Well, that's mm. right. You need to have both. Mm. That's right. And coming up to this fight night, you know, um, potentially you'll have your jerseys before then, but what you can guarantee you'll have before then if you want to support us on fight night is a Baggy Reg on your dime. That's right. There's plenty of them there. Go hit one. Fucking support us. There's exciting things coming, but yeah, these jerseys, I am so excited. Fuck yeah, I, I'm keen. <clears throat> we might, have, we've got a couple, couple of samples here. Mm. We might even fucking give them a sneak peek. Oh yeah, Ooh. give them a sneak. Might even give them a sneak peek because we fucking got samples, all right. A lot of them. <laughs> well, it's one of those things that when you're doing something like this, like these aren't cheap to make, Reggie's. They're nah, not cheap. They're it's not. not like you're doing an AS color shirt. These are full made. Like from scratch that we had to get samples made. There's redesigns. Groper put them on. There was there was bits that didn't fit right. We changed that. We fucking changed the length of things. Put emblems bigger, smaller, moved them and shit to be the ultimate Reggie's fucking rig holder. There <laughs> That's is. That's right. That's spot on. Yeah. Because you can't nice. rush art. No. Yeah. You have been a tad impatient. Which is fair enough. Fair, yeah, yeah, fair, fair enough. But we have mastered mm. this jersey and the stars have aligned for the footy season. So one thing I've learned fucking happy. is that next time, next jersey, because there'll be another one next. Yeah, like, it'll be a yearly thing. A, it's like, this they'll is never, like they'll never be this one again. No, That's no, what no, I will no. say. They'll no. never be this the exact 2024 one. Reggie's The OG R-I-L-C, original. Let me just say this to you. Kit. Let me say this to you. When the Reggie's is the biggest sports podcast <laughs> in 10 years' time, and every cunt wants the seasonal jersey. You want to have the first year hanging on the wall next to the other nine. That's all I'm saying to you. I can predict these things. I'm like McGregor. So get the fuck in there and buy yourself a jersey when they go on sale because it's going to be a collector's item one Well, if that doesn't fucking fire you up, I don't know. We can't say much more. I'm ready to run out to the cauldron (laughs) and fucking take the first hit up. Oh, Fucking (laughs) fence! Fucking oath. Fuck yeah. Good stuff. Righto. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you Thursday. Massive week ahead as usual. We'll see you Friday morning, I Mate, should say. Wait, boys, we'll girls, see you Thursday. Still to choose. Enjoy your fucking weekend of sport. Yeah. And Easter and fucking eat heaps of chocolate. Get all fat and sassy. Yeah. Fucking have fun. Enjoy yourself. Stay safe. Absolutely. We'll see you on Good Friday. Hooray. Hooray.